Hi everyone, I'm McDysis, and this is Untold Dawn, and I bet you're wondering, hey, how can you speedrun Untold Dawn, and what are we doing here? So this is going to be Untold Dawn All Survivors, also I'm adding in the dog, because everyone keeps asking me, what about the dog? So we'll save the dog too. Uh, normally, if you want to speedrun this game, killing people is going to be much, much faster, but that's kind of boring, because you lose some of the stake. So this way, we're going to be saving everyone, and I'll show you how to do that. As well, there's going to be a lot of breaking down, it's a long run, it's like a, a little over four hours, so... Yeah, either way, let's uh, jump straight into this. Time begins once you hit the last year of the prologue. And go. Are you pranking Han again? You know it. So the prologue is mostly just kind of introduction of characters. It's really chill. And I do understand what people ask, oh, how can you speedrun until dawn? Because admittedly, a lot of it is going to be movies. Uh, not all the game is movies, though. You do have some moving around, and a lot of the game will also be choices that you have to make. And these choices can heavily influence the game and its speed. As well as me, one part of the game that has licensed music, I don't know that's going to show up on the YouTube side of things. It doesn't show up on Twitch, but uh, I might have to mute that in the VOD, and I'm worried. Well, thank you, Busy. I also hope you're all having a good day, chat. Skips? So, it's not so much skips, it's more just making decisions that will save time later, and also some minor tech. There's no major glitches. I think there was a glitch, but it soft locks the game, so it's not really worth doing. And also, it's just a long game. There's a lot to do. And also, this is kind of the just general metaphor of the game. Oh, you gotta choose carefully. As well, this is on PS4, so, you know, we're gonna be using the PlayStation 4 controller. And I mention this because this has the, the movement and the, uh, you have to do certain things with that. And we'll have a trick regarding that, too. As well, people always ask, oh, what's the plot of this game? What's the plot of the speedrun? Luckily enough, even if you watch the speedrun, you're getting all of the plot. I can't skip anything. I can only make certain aspects of the game shorter. In the game that we're saving everyone, you know, you'll still be watching most of the game. The only thing you won't be doing is reading, because reading is not fun. Also, hopefully the game is good on volume. If it's quiet, I can turn it up. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. I think it should be good. Exactly, so it's a high tech movement. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Volume good, awesome. Last time we were doing this game, I was kind of peaking a bit, so I'll make sure that's all good to go. Whatever you say, darling. But yes. Until Dawn as well as a game for anyone who's newer to, you know, these types of games. It's kind of like, um, I guess a good game I compare it to is either Heavy Rain or Beyond Two Souls. Uh, you have a movement sections, but then as well, you also have these sections where you either have to make choices, or you'll have to, um, do the storylines kind of like that. So as of right now, you can see I am hands-free. This is all just movie. I want to turn it up a wee bit, by the way, while I'm here. Mike? There we go. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Alright, now that we're out of the prologue, we're gonna be playing as uh, this character for a bit. I think it's like Jessica, and not Jessica, it's Hannah and Beth. So you can play as Beth. Hey, did you Hands that? free? Yes. Why it just be us this weekend? An important thing to know, by the way, is you can move slightly faster by, you know, holding down the L1 button. Uh, this actually is a minor difference that will kind of add up early. And then as well, you don't have to actually talk to anyone but the snow. I also grabbed from this side because this is going to put me closer to the door and this side so I can immediately end once this is done. All you have to do is learn about the oh prank and then you can leave. What did our naive sister get herself into now? You could look at it on the other side, but the reason I want to look at it here is because it like will pretty much immediately throw me into the cutscene, which is nice. Glad you can make it. The tutorial isn't bad. Uh, the you know this is the prologue, this is the tutorial of the game, and there'll kind of be a lot of introductions early on in chapters one in the prologue. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. You also can see how terrible all the characters are. Oh hell yeah! There we go. Turning it up a wee bit. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Man. I like how Mike was, you know, having a selfie stick in the closet. Also, he has oh. Booba. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. This all got out of hand, but... Honestly, who would actually do a prank uh, like that? Honestly, I think a lot of people do pranks like this. Jerks. You know that? There's a reason why people say high school is cruel, Hannah. right? Alright, first decision. Uh, we immediately want to go outside. It's a tutorial. You just hold the right. 
Uh, we want to immediately not have to worry about waking Josh. It just takes longer. You will go outside anyway. The early games kind of just teach you a lot of things that don't really matter all that much. Also, here's the line. The, the famous line of the game, her favorite one. On? She's going to say Where's it. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. There it is. What did you do? It's just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. It's you just jerks. a prank, Han. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. We love it, don't we? Alright, so, there's QTEs in this game, oh, and the shit. QTEs are always going to be the same, actually. So, if you know what they are, you can actually just straight up mash them. As well, we actually want to drop down quickly, so we're going to be going left. You always want to be taking the faster option, and you want to make sure you land these QTEs. From here on out, all the right answers are actually going to be on the right side. Funny enough, you actually pick the right answers. I didn't realize this when I played this game casually, but you'll be able to see Han uh, if you pick the right option first. If you go the wrong way, you're not going to be able to see Han. You want to follow the noise here. Look on the right side, and you'll see someone running. That's Han. This doesn't actually matter all that much, it's just if you pick Damn the it, right options, you'll be moving faster. You? If you pick the wrong option, you can see on the right. If you pick the wrong option, what's happening is like you'll find a deer, and then you have that minor encounter. We're gonna follow the footprints here. Well, yeah, uh, this is made by Supermassive Games, actually, uh, Stack Design. Uh, this is their first major project. Uh, they did a few projects, but Until Dawn was, like, the thing that really put them on the map. Also, the fun of that. You have to be ready for those. You have to be ready for the, the, the little swipe. It's, it's a bit dumb. You have to be ready. From here on out, it's just moving forward for the most part. The nice part about this game is that most of the levels are going to be very straightforward. So while I do have to move, it just, you know, move in a proper straight line, uh, go the proper way. Hopefully it's not too loud, by the way. I turned it up a wee bit because I felt it was a little bit quiet, but hopefully it won't be, like, over me or anything Hello? like that. Hello? There's also a totem there. We don't need it. Audio is good? Awesome. That's a mixture. Well, plenty of time to fix it, okay, just in case, but... You kind of see the general movement. This game does have movement. You actually do need to move. And like I mentioned, pulling on L1 the whole time because it's a slightly faster walk. As of right now, we're moving your way over to Hannah. You're kind of seeing a lot of the prologue and the intro and kind of building the, you know, building the situation. But now they found Hannah, we're going to be hitting the next part. There's actually no more QTEs here, but we'll be left with one final decision at the end of this. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here. Take my coat. I think maybe a little bit lower. So dumb. Hannah, I've never gotten all the totems, but I ha I'm missing landing four. That would be 100. So I haven't done all the totems. All right. So the decision we're gonna make is we're going to be letting go. We're gonna be going on the cliff. We want to let go. Both options lead you to the same thing when it comes up. However, letting go will be much faster because you don't have to struggle to hold on. No. This way, it's an immediate no. fall. If you don't let go and you try to struggle to hold on, she'll try to stay up a little bit longer and then she falls. No. Same result either way. It's always the same. So we're just holding on the right right now, as you can see. And I did nothing wrong. Hannah refused to understand that it was just a prank. We will save the dog, Brandy. We will. We will. So we let go, and then they both fall off. Whee! It was just a prank, Beth. Yes, this will always happen. This always happens. Also, I can turn this down a wee bit. It was just a prank, Beth. I told you you can't change what happened last year. Okay. Can only affect the future. So another part of this game is that we'll have these little analyst sections. They don't really matter all that much, but you'll be getting, you know, faster and shorter dialogue. So the options I'm picking are just because they've already been routed out by the speedrun community. Um, the only real reason that you're going to be picking these is they'll lead to shorter dialogues later throughout the game. I'm trying to balance this game's audio. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here yes, that is Peter sure Stormare. No matter how upsetting. Howdy, Steve Stone. I'll be doing good. You were always so I'm pretty much the way I see this is we go right once, and then all the other options are left. 
All right. These are also kind of like a way of gauging your own personality throughout the game, and um, they're fun little Easter eggs too. No, no, we just started, Spence. You're all good. So a good example of this is, well, while this one won't matter all that much, when you get later into the game, there'll be questions like, oh, do you hate cockroaches or do you hate rats? And then when you pick the two, what ends up happening is... Um, When you get to a section of the game with a dead body, you'll either see rats or cockroaches, depending on what you pick, because the game's trying to, trying to mess with you. Also, I didn't need to mention Academy Award-winning actor Rami Malek, because we all know about Rami Malek. So we're going to do I Feel Uneasy, and then all the other options will be left. These are just to make this faster. Makes you feel uneasy. Well, that's that's realistically see. all this actually does. It's just dialogue Let's shortening here. Some of the options will quite literally be because we get shorter dialogue. Some of these will be minor, like, just shorter sentences. But later we're actually going to have a major one, and I can talk about that once we get there. Like, every chapter will kind of have these minor decisions, which could be huge. Um, certain examples might be, oh, we have to kill someone. Oh, we have to, uh, you know... We had to pick a fight, so, but who's in a fight? So with that, we want certain people to do certain edge, things, because if we make it that way, then they'll do it much faster than action. someone else. Which is actually kind of neat. It's like I they're speedrunning the game for me. How's it going, Frodo? Entirely, honestly, Hope you're doing good. Ah, yes, Oscar Award-winning actor, Rami Malek. Investigate that in our next session, shall we? Fine, you know what? I'll change the title for you. While we're waiting for the O Death song, I'll change the title. By the way, the upcoming song might DMCA. If it does on the YouTube side of things, just know I replaced it with something probably sillier or a different song. <laughs> just because I'd rather not have a... I'd rather be able to have this video be monetized. <laughs> and Oscar Award winning... There you go. By the way, if you don't know this song, it's O Death and it's an amazing song. Look it up. Until Dawn O Death. It's it's great. Also, now's the time I have to touch my toes. Also, look, super massive games. See, part of speedrunning is listening to bangers. I've been listening to more versions of the song. You know what song I've been listening to lately? Telephone Line. Wait, what's Spin Us? What, which one's that one, Ellis? This game is amazing if you like touch your toes. You can stand up. Dude, you know how many games don't promote healthy standing? How can you speed on this game when it's basically point and click? I sped around point and click so you can speed on anything. I'm explaining it, that's the point. Don't you just do the exact same choices every time? You're also missing QTEs, there's actual movement. There'll be a point in the game. Where's the new chair? It comes in the 22nd. I got confirmation on that one. I'll keep that in mind, Nurgle. There are gonna be parts of the game where, you know, if you mess up your QTE, it's over. All survivors adds a bit of tension, so if you do mess up, you, you lose. You don't win. So there was actually that kind of loss uh, as well. If you don't move, you can't beat the game. That's kind of the thing right there. A movie, you know, a movie kind of like Night Trap, even then, you still have to actually beat the game, it's more of a challenge run, but this game does have a lot of variety in its speed. Hell, we're probably saving a lot of time throughout this, because, you know, I lost a lot of time when I did this my first run of this. Alright, I should say my first couple runs of this. Yeah, the end bit with Jess, too, there's a lot of sections in this game that will kind of make a difference. The any percent category normally wants to kill everyone, by the way. Normally, with any percent, you will want to kill everyone. My officers did search the grounds, but... I think it might be your phone, Karate Man Dan. Also, story-wise, at this point, everyone's kind of been invited back to the uh, to the lodge by Josh. Uh, they want to party, and uh, they are sad that his sisters died, but it's kind of a one-year anniversary, so they're gonna they're gonna party. Well, hello. You can see here. Fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello. How's it going, Flutter? It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood... No, Baku, it's their, it's their phone. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. It's not Elijah Wood, it's Rami Malik. 
You're all probably worried Oscar about winning actor right now. I know now. it's going to be tough on all of us going back after. Also, if I talk, there are year. subtitles. Just, just saying. I just want you all to know. No, um, that's not Sam of Lord of the Rings. That's Rainy Malik. So Freddie Mercury. That we're doing this. And that. I know it would mean. Also, I hope everyone's happy with the title change. That we're, we're all still here together. Yes, he didn't win an Oscar for this. He won an Oscar for Freddie I really Mercury. Want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Pete Davidson, for, I suppose. Actually, I can see that one. But he's not in this game. And, you know. Okay, so. It's a good game. Let's. Party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one. But I do want to mention in many cases, forget, I know it does right? get brought up, how can you speedrun on yes. Toban? Trust me, this is actually more of a legit speedrun than some of the games I've done. I have started on some absolute memes that are quite literally you wait for the ending. Yeah, he was uh it was the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Also music's back. You know, we kind of see a lot of these options when we come up to them. If you're wondering why, by the way, for anyone kind of watching this wondering, oh, why are we doing all survivors? Why aren't we just doing the any percent? Wouldn't that also make sense for a marathon explained? Well, the problem with any percent is there's going to be parts of the game where you, um, you know, you just get people killed. Like, I didn't like that because, like, in this category, I have to fight to keep them alive. I have to actually perform the sections. I can't just fail. On any percent, you just immediately fail the moment you have the first chance here. How come I didn't get a PS5? There's no games. How's one party like a porn star? I'm assuming a lot of drugs, sex, and alcohol. No, we don't get the totems in this category. By the way, I forgot to split because I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot to split. I'm dummy. <laughs> That's alright. It does slap. Exactly. And also, this is just kind of a neat playthrough where we end up getting the best of everything, so it's quite nice with that. Me too. Me too, Siseka. Also, you have a lot of the character introductions, just kind of give you the personalities. If you don't know already, Sam's going to be the main character, and she's very important. Hello? Someone there? You're the best of everything? Yeah. Sam is very important, chat. All right, now we're going to begin with walking. By the way, right now, if I was not walking, Sam would just stand there. This is me playing the game. By definition, if I wasn't moving, I would not be able to beat the game. This would be great for a GDQ submission, but the problem is this game is four hours, roughly. And a four-hour game where it's mostly watching movies is not going to be the best... Uh... This is probably good for a really, really long thon Anyway, we have to look at the note in order to learn that we have to climb over the wall, and now we actually want to take the fast option. So we want to go quick, and there's going to be QTEs. Do you want to make sure you land these? They're usually going to be the same QTEs, so in theory you could mash them, but I always uh, am be careful. We also want to jump. So as I remember, the faster option will be much, much better. I think this would be for a really, really long -thon. Like I want to do really, really long -thon at some point. It seems like a fun time. Evening, Kasaki. I'll be doing good. Well, Sam is very important. She, no one else could have climbed this wall. No one. No one else. Also, some of the decisions we end up making will be kind of funny and, like, a bit strange, so I hope you enjoy them. All the decisions we're making are very, very important. So right now, here's a good example of don't move. I'm going to put my controller on my table. By doing so, I won't have to worry about this. This is actually the coolest strategy in the game. If you play this game casually, you probably know the don't move thing's annoying because, you know, I have shaky hands. I know I do. A lot of people might have them too. So in many cases, when you're playing this game, you might have the issue of not passing the don't move. This comes in handy throughout the entire game. Another issue is you do have to turn off the vibration though because the controller vibrating will also start moving. So keep that in mind. So this is going to be a little tutorial to teach you about the totems. I was mentioned in a, times a, few, uh, a few times in chat already. You do collect one totem. This one is mandatory. Um, you have to collect it. You have to watch it. This is just trying to teach you about the totems. Also, going back to the PS5 question, there are currently no games I want to play on the PS5. Uh, there's nothing out for it yet. Also, but if I did own a PS5, I'm pretty sure I can get a better Until Dawn time. What would have changed if you moved with the squirrel? One, you get a longer cutscene. Two... I want to be very careful not to disturb nature. I'm not exactly sure how many bad decisions with nature will ruin it, but if you end up disturbing nature, that can make, uh, lead to a disastrous consequence for a later character. 
By the way, I think I did drop a couple frames. That's okay, I was just walking. Chris, you hear? Right now, we're going to be talking to this backpack. Bag, we're going up. You? We have to build trust. This will make for a fa uh, just faster dialogue. Nothing happens. So, we don't want to snoop through the phone. It's going to make uh, Sam and Chris kind of yell at each other more. We just close the bag. We're not, we're not newsy. Really? Well, that's good to know then, I suppose. Spectacular. The tier one for four months. It's just oh, a prank, so Han. It's just a prank, Han. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Loptacular. I'm not gonna tell you. you it's much appreciated. Hope you're having a good day today. Chris is annoying. I like Chris. Right here. Also, a lot of the characters are gonna be four guys and four girls. They're gonna have certain archetypes, certain uh, personalities. Uh, Chris is like the funny guy. Sam is the. I, I'm gonna call her the final girl, the generic girl. She's just very uh, generic, in my opinion. And we'll kind of be introduced to more and more of the characters as we play. I like Chris, and we'll see some funny stuff in this game. Also, I hope the voices aren't too quiet. I can turn them up if needed. Sam is hot? Ah, perfect. I don't think any of the characters in this game are really unattractive, though. Like, they're all, you know... They're all fine people. How's it going, Lashinta? Okay, Sam is the saint. Ashley? But, she, I mean, she's not good people, but she's definitely not really unattractive, I would say. Emily is best girl? How dare you lob factual statements at me. So right now, I'm actually, you know, all these cans are always in the same spot, so I'm making myself quick as possible to make sure I aim at these. Uh, this will always be the same. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. And we're actually going to be hitting another area right now where we're going to be having a squirrel pop up. Again, you want to make sure that you're not harming nature. Emily's a great character. So here's a squirrel. You do not want to shoot the squirrel. One, you know, you get scolded at for shooting a squirrel, which it takes long. And two, it is disturbing nature, so just shoot the sandbag. That's how you're doing, yeah. Samuel. Hope you're doing good. Samuel. Hey, sharpshooter. You can see the butterfly effect going. Hey, we didn't shoot the squirrel. The Come on, Chris. The cable car. Exactly. We want to defend all the animals. Emily is good. She's a good character. We love Emily here. We stand a queen. All right, Chris. Thank you. Name of the follow. All right. So now it's going to become the, uh, the most simple speed tech in the world. It's going to be really dumb when you see it. It's nothing major. It's, in fact, kind of stupid. So right now we need the cable car to come down. And the cable car actually does have a built-in trigger. We are saving the animals, yes. The high school scene? Wait, which one? There's a lot of scenes in this game. said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. We're not killing the animals. You need the animals alive. Anyway, that speed tech I was talking about, here's what it is. You play as Chris and during this room. The cable car won't arrive unless you explore. Here's what we define as exploring. We enter this room. We immediately leave this room. We did it. And now we get to stand here. I like to stare at the camera with Chris. I think it's funny. Just make him stare at you. Deep into your... Look, he's looking directly at you, chat. He's reading your messages. He's looking straight into your soul. You can also make him nod. Chat, do you think... Until, uh, Chris, do you think Until Dawn's a good speed game? Yes, I do. Chris, do you think people should subscribe to Dysus on YouTube? Yes. See? Chris agrees. There, I get to have that plug. I just like how close he is. He's also looking at chat, so he's looking directly at you. Chris, are you a nerd? Yes. Alright, now I can enter. Good! With the tier 1 for 23 months. 
Holy hey. shit, that's almost two years. Ektachi, hyper Ektachi, love also. Tomorrow is my last chemo. You love to see it, Gerd. I'm happy to hear that. I'm wishing you all the best with that, and a big congratulations as well. I'm happy that you're here with us, man. And thank you for the 23 months. It's good to see. I posted, I did not post cringe. I can see the YouTube comments agreeing with this comment. A big congrats to that, Gerd. Congratulations. There you go. I like that yeah, one. No, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited. And there's a lot of foreshadowing in this game, too. Uh, they're going to explain the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is kind of the idea that if you do one thing really early, it's going to affect the late game. That's what the squirrel does. That's what the, you know, you don't want to mess with the animals. We're not filled with cringe. We're poggers. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened. And enjoy the trip. A bori, the prime oh, gaming for two months. Third grade. Only Josh Chris sat in the back of the room. So. Ah, perfect. We well, thank you, Aburi. I'm glad that Chris inspired you to use your prime game. Strap snapping the train bra on the girl in front of You know, you got me there, Gert. The That's fair. To the front, where I was sitting. That is fair. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. So, friends. you can already kind of tell the early chapters are a lot of just setting them the mood. Uh, a lot of the action starts happening around chapter 3 and 4. We will have some minor time saves actually coming up. Um, actually, one of the major little time saves. I, I did this on accident the wrong way one time. You lose a ton of time. So, uh, but a lot of the high stake stuff is around chapters, I want to say, 4 to 10. Once you hit chapter 4, it hits the ground running. Butterfly effect. But I will say, to make chat happy, there will be there will be booba. There will be booba in the game. How's it going, half cap? Hope you're doing good. I need to get the booba emote. Yes, there is there will be booba. Anyway, now we're gonna be playing as Jessica. This is like one of like three times we play as Jess. By the way, Jess is a terrible person. She's fun, but she's still terrible. New people. Time to meet and greet. So all we're gonna do right now is just gonna walk to the door. This is gonna be really quick. Are we stripping Jess? Is the Pope shit in the woods? What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, exactly, um, Pope's having a really weird Jess is bad. Story. She's a cool character, We're though. Stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let You will get hot monsters, please? too. Please? Until Dawn is much better. Like, of all the super massive games, Until Dawn is the clear best. Oh, also, minor decision right God. now. We're gonna be explaining. It's faster, uh, Neely gets to the point, and it builds, you know, just, oh. it's better to do. Um, honestly, I just like to talk a lot, Winky. That's my main, that's my major thing. I like to talk a lot. So, it kind of builds nicely with the sort of marathon-style commentary. And also a bit of a motor mouth. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little... By the way, the way I say the reason why Jess is terrible is because the whole reason the prank happened is because Jess wanted to get revenge, uh, you know, bully hand for liking Mike, and then Jess started dating Mike. Mike and M split were together. So, there we go. Drama. It's really teenage Christmas, drama. Actually, I'm out, I'm in. Huh. Also, wondering what all the, like, you know, what the, you know, age range of all these characters are all... I think they're all supposed to be, like, 18 or 19. The flashback makes them, like, 17, right, uh, 18, or, you know, that around that age, but they're all 18. Uh, you guys go ahead. It's the standard horror else. movie... See who else is coming. What's the word? You mean Mike? What? Horror movie stereotypes. Look, I mean, 25. You know, hey, Oscar award-winning actor Rami Malek Did you see this view? is great. I mean, holy cow. We do very different games, though, in Natural. Stop and take it all in. Also, they're actors. Okay, so right now, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be getting very aggressive. Also, here's Emily. She's great. We stand a queen. I don't think it would have been like as pretty... So we're gonna be playing here as Matt. How's it going, Azon? By the way, boy? Matt is a liar and a cheat. He has he's wearing a Letterman jacket and he has zero letters. He is a liar and a cheat. He's a scoundrel. I can't believe he would false praise. False admiration. What's the word? No, false accolades? He has no letters on that letter button. Also jump scare. So right now we're actually gonna be very aggressive. We're holding down left the entire time. We want to be mean. One, we're going to be aggressive to Mike. You have to be aggressive to Mike. This is important. Of all the decisions we made, this one's super important. I'm not kidding. And I'll explain why once we get there. But we need Matt and Mike to fight. 
Stolen accolades, exactly. Matt is committing stolen accolades. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? It's just a prank, Pan. I like Super Massive, actually. The way you're being, you always get exactly, Sam. Well, how's I doing? Is on. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. So there we I'm go. Not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Exable, the tier one for 15 months. But, but, yeah, I, there's the roots. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road. Be on the church ship by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get I like the speed. You know that. Thank you, Exhale, for the 15 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you for being here. I'm glad you got your whoops. What? Is there kill the unlikable characters? Yeah, that's cool. Ninety percent. You kill everyone. Yeah. Mike does look like a budget Nathan Drake. Why? So right now we actually want to agree. We want to agree just to take the bags. Sorry, I just because otherwise you get long dialogue with Matt and M, and we don't want that. Also, a lot of people don't like Emily because she's bitchy. I like Emily. She's fun. Matt, please. We're gonna take the bags. It's much faster. All right. We're not going to persist. Fine. But so important. So I just set in motion, though, because in the next chapter, we're going to be having a moment where some of the characters are going to be fighting. It can either be the guys or the girls. If you have the girls fight, that takes way longer, and it's much, much worse. And you have the guys fight, it immediately ends the sequence. So ideally, you want the guys to fight and not the girls. So I'm setting in motion for Matt and Mike to fight later on, which you'll see. And this is actually a massive time save. I'm talking like literal minutes, like think like three. And I know three minutes doesn't sound like a lot in a speedrun that's four hours, but trust me, it is a lot of time. Even like just three minutes in anything's a lot. It adds up. So right now we're actually gonna be uh, further fanning the flames of a fight. Uh, we're going to be looking through here and we're gonna be looking for Mike. It's immediately just down left. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Hey, look, Mike and M. In the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Well, no, if you're eating three-minute noodles, that see, it takes three minutes. Three minutes is a lot of time. Also, oh! jump scare. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey, whoa. I know group fight. You can only have the guys or girls fight. Scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not. So right now, we actually want to encourage Matt to take a look at this, which will further fan the. Flames. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Both options are it's roughly about the same as well. Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, so we encourage. Um, sure. Uh, go this is also go kind ahead. of the whole thing with the butterfly out. effect, which you can actually look at these in the menu. Um, we don't really do this much in the speed run because, you know, I already know everything that we're doing. But with the menu, if you're playing the game casually, you can look at all the things you've done. The butterfly effects, the relationships with characters, there's a lot you can look at with this. So now Matt is angry. He knows his letterman is false. He understands. Also, it ends the dialogue immediately there too, making it much, much faster. When will prank be counted as not a prank anymore? Good question. Also, the faster option is to check your phone. We don't read books. That's slow. Check your phone. Oh, you did not just do All right. That. So we have to engage in a snowball fight. Again, there's going to be a lot of silly romantic stuff in chapter one. Enjoy the fun music. The answer is going to be going left. Also, to kind of show you that all the QTEs are kind of premeditated, just watch. So I'm going to be going left. I'm going to be mashing triangle now. Sneaky, sneaky. It's an immediate thing. Next, I'll be mashing square. That, hero. <laughs> I think I have to hit them first with the uh, the thing, though. Where are you hiding, little chickadee? We do. Oh, here we go. And we hit. We want to win the fight, by oh, the way. We don't ah! suck. You got to win the fight. Square. Hey. Oh, Immediately yeah. finish the QT. This is one of the only times in the game we play as Jess, by the way. We don't really play as her a lot. You love buffering QTEs? It's actually a thing that works, and it's kind of silly. Also, we're champions. Yeah, the buffering is neat. And the QTs are always the same in this game, so you're actually going to be safe. So there's going to be a bird popping up. We don't want to hit the bird. The death scene for the bird is sad. And also, this is supposed to teach you that maybe you shouldn't do everything. As well, we don't want to mess with the animals. That does lead to a butterfly effect later, which will be bad. We're going to be aiming right about here for Mike, though.
Bonk. Alright, now if you're wondering which option is faster, it's just gonna be a kiss. It's faster. We're saving all the animals, all of them. Even the dog. Even the dog. I don't think so. I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You see, my favorite opponents. one is actually Guess Saw the Game, Maison, because you just okay, mash I'm every button and it works. Dirty. My lady. I love QTEs where you mash every single button and it works. Who do I hit the most in this game? Honestly, probably Ashley, but even then, it's kind of a mix. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. We we're saving everyone, baseball. Yeah. We're gonna be saving so everyone. Nice here, we can decide who dies and Pretty lives, but we're saving okay. everybody. Because I mean, it makes for a much more entertaining category. Pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. See, Mike yeah. has endless Thank reserves. You. Endless Whoa, reserves. Quote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I'm saving the dog, because one, I want to put this on YouTube. Two, everyone kept asking me, but what about the dog? But what about the dog? So, we're saving the dog. Okay, we have a lot of options right now, and they have no actual real merit, so I'm holding down right. And swiping pages. So, we hold down right and swipe. That's it. This is kind of a little bit of a lull, but we're just doing all right. I believe that in our last session... This is just dialogue. I am an expert with years of experience. You don't think you can miss me. We'll say, I mean, I already lost a lot of time when I did this last time because I put on 3D glasses and got lost for like five minutes. This so, time, uh, I know where I'm going now. We'll try to understand the root of your anxiety. And we'll be fine. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pages. Go. How's it going, Myson, by the way? I want you to identify which image in each but yeah, for the book, we're going to be pointing at which side you want. This is just kind of a personality gauge. I'm picking right every time. And then you'll, you'll have, like write it down, and then you turn the page. The psychiatrist uh, quizzes affect a certain character in the game, which we'll talk about later. And then as well, it will actually change up some of the options. Uh, so in the game, like right now, oh, rats scare me, snakes scare me. Depending on what you pick, like you might see a rat later in the game, or you might see like cockroaches or something. So, depending on what you pick, that'll kind of make the big difference on certain weapons and choices. So, like, watch. You have cockroaches here. Uh, later on in the game, you'll kind of, like, see a dead body. And then with that, I'll actually end up being able to just see cockroaches. You also have scarecrows. Like, later in the game, you'll have, like, uh, some guy who's threatening to kill people. And then he might be wearing a clown mask or he might be wearing a scarecrow mask. As well, the crows, you know... There's going to be a point in the game where there's going to be like a dead body, and then you'll either see guts all around it, or you'll see crows. Well. These are all just aesthetic choices. Dump in love. So all I'm doing is holding on right because they don't matter. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will I kind of like Until Dawn a lot more than the other ones. Like playing Man of Medan and playing um, Little Hope, I think the best is clearly Until Dawn, and it even plays a lot better. Um, but also that's due to budgeting reasons. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but this game was backed with Sony money. So, a lot of people are like, oh, Until Dawn looks way better than Man of Medan. That's because Man of Medan's technically an indie game at that point. Until Dawn's like a triple A game, because while it is made by Supermassive Games, it has Sony backing. And that's why they're able to get talent like Peter Stormare and Rami Malek, and also Sam, who I don't remember her name. This is very interesting. And then the game ended up doing decently well around that time. Honestly, it's a neat game that even, you know, watching the speedrun and playing it, there's so many options and playthroughs that you can do with this, it's wild. And sure, this will give you the best decision, but, like, I'm not going through half the other decisions, the achievements. Like, at one point in the game, I'm just going to straight up, like, fail something because it's faster, but I'll still be able to get to the end perfectly fine. Well, also, again, Until Dawn had a lot more passion put into it, and it had a lot more money. Man of Dan is probably the worst of the three, while Little Hope is a step up. Uh, I'm kind of excited about the next one. We're going to play it when it comes out. Probably early, too. I'm liking these games now. I've never sped ran Man of Medan or the uh, A Little Hope, but maybe we'll maybe we'll in the future. There it is, ha Hayden uh, Penetier.
Yay! Say I only lost one second. A true gamer, chat. True gamer. Don't you guys think this is a flame? By the way, it's gonna come up again. You ready to say it? Hannah! Ready? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, prank hand. hand. It was just a prank hand. Run scoff, don't worry, it'll be fun. First off, I gotta say, I'm, I'm glad everyone enjoys it was just a prank hand. Back to the annual Blackwood winter getaway. I really want to spend some quality. Also, time you'll be getting a lot of these like flashbacks to tell you what happened in the last chapter. Because they didn't expect you to we'll play four forget. hours of for, game in one sitting. For the sake of my sister. Or sorry, like four hours of like, cutscenes and like QTEs and moving. <laughs> It's great. I love it to just go. I have the sound clip. I want to make an alert of it, but I don't know how to make it. Butterfly effect. All right. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, it feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Let's see. Oscar winning. Uh, Oscar award winning. Uh, Rami Malek. So right now we're going to be moving forward, uh, that's pretty much the most part here. Um, we're going to be getting a couple of decisions, uh, the ones you're picking are just going to be faster dialogues. It's going to be gossip and confidence. Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? You, like, pretty much when you're, like, talking with Rainy Malik here, Josh, what will happen is you can either talk about his dead sisters or you can just gossip. Gossiping's faster. Yo, yo, it's also yo. nicer. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Well, it's I funny, too, that all the decisions got broken so down to a degree where you just have what's faster for teenage drama. Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. I can't believe we're one second behind already. Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get. Yep, like, there he is. Open or something. Wait a second. Are you Oscar award winning in? Josh. I don't think Rainy Malik. Breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. All right, we're gonna make Chris into a Chad as well. Remember, being a Chad is faster. That's what speedrunning is about. Being a Chad. <laughs> People will tell you many things about speedrunning, like, oh, you're not a true speedrunner unless blank. You're not a true speedrunner unless you're a Chad. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Good, but the Chad decisions are faster. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Even in video games, you need to be a Chad. Right? Oh, not up the stairs. Come on down. There we go. They have really wide turns. By the way, we're going to entirely ignore Rami Malik. We're just going to walk past him. Is it, they're gonna try like gossiping about Ashley. You just ignore him. Just move. I love that too, cause like moments where you can make a decision and then you just like, zo you just zoom past him. He'll catch up. So there actually is a glitch where you can like warp into the next room, but the problem is I don't think it act like it soft locks the game or something. Well, so well, it's faster well, just to do this anyway. Nice and it's kind of weird, you know. We're just gonna be shoving this over. Chips, a kind of chips. Oh, I see. I like Rami Malik. He's cool. You won an Oscar. How are you doing, Wondrous? So making a way through the house is mostly going to be the same. I really hope I don't make the same mistake I always make. There's one mistake that I always make because we're trying to make our way to the bathroom right now. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You kind of get the tip through this line of dialogue. You mean Jim? Not that one. Yeah, you know, the, you know, the one happening broke. after. Oh, so how's it going, Zombie Smasher? Did I do that? Until Dawn is the perfect Chad so. game to speedrun. Here, use this. Hey, nice wondrous. You see, why speedrun a game that's uber competitive well, at five minutes awesome when you can speedrun a game yeah? that's like four well, hours well, well, and is essentially is watching okay, a movie? So, I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. I'm doing Flat good. Thrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. 
Not Vassy right, 10? Dude, RPG speedrunners are chads. Bingo. They have a family. They have right, a wife and kids. Not, not even memeing. Go sort something out. You up for They're automatically for chads at that bit? point. Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Alright. So now we're gonna be going up. We want to immediately leave. There's a totem. It's funny that there's a totem in Josh's house, but we're gonna ignore it. Because, like, the totem is just be, like, visions that you have of the future, and Josh just has one in his house. I don't wonder if it's always the same image, or, like, was it waiting for specifically this year? Anyway, the upside of this game is most of the paths are rather straightforward. You know, it's to be making your way through. Uh, and then we're going to be cutting over to the left. And then now we're going to be making our way to the stairs. I always make the wrong decision. I really hope I don't this time. I want to say that I have to go... Left. I always go right. I think it's left. Yes, it was left. Okay, okay. So every time I tell myself right is always right, and then I mess that up entirely. And it's funny. <laughs> so you go left, and then you can immediately go to the bathroom. And that's just a minor amount of time save right there, because you don't have to walk nearly as much. If you're immediately going the right way, you end up going places faster. I know that sounds really simple and easy, but believe me, there's like three runs I had where after 40 minutes, I confused myself on where I was actually going. Also, jump scared. Yeah, it does, Radra, it does. And again, any game can be sped ran. If there is a way to play the game, you can speed run it. Is that monkey? No, that was a Wolverine. And that's kind of like one of the things right there. We're freezing our buns off out here. Why was he in there? He was chilling. It's cold outside. That's like the song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. But instead of, you know, a guy and a girl, like, dancing over the question of 50s ethics, it's a Wolverine trying to find warmth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all Exactly. It's the family <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> Are you saving the Wolverine? I mean, yeah. he just returned to the woods, so I guess he is safe, okay? but we don't have an option like for that one. Tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Maybe you should get one. I don't know. I think they might be a rabbit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really know much about Wolverines. I only know that they're apparently Canadian, and like five foot five. By the way, the Marvel Comics Wolverine's like five foot five. If you're taller than that, you're taller than Wolverine. I mean, he'll he'll still kill you, but you're taller than him. So there you go. You can be taller than Wolverine. And nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. So right now, we're going to be entering the fight that I talked about. Up, There's Mike. People? Hold down hey! left. And you'll see the hatred of Matt's eyes. Imagine having a flashback to pure hatred. All right, now begins Step the fight. Home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Yeah, Come Wolverine's 5'5". Five, five. It's wild. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. So it's kind of weird how to start the fight. You want to warn him, and then you'll have the option to attack. Easy there, I got guys first, and then I got girls after that. Weirdly enough, warning is Mike, the fight. It's not mind. challenge. It's warn. It's really we weird. You challenge, you don't get the fight. You have to warn. Emily, why would I want anything to do and with then, Emily? Attack! Quit being such a dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, meathead? Bitch! Hey, hey, get off! Fighting! Me. Hey! So there we go. That immediately ends the sequence. This is much better. You can have more dialogue, you pick the wrong options, the girls will fight, which, you know, takes you this exact same choice. All that happens is that Mike and Jessica get kicked out of the cabin, or this big house, and they go to their own cabin. So this way is much, much better for us, because I don't have to worry about it. No dialogue, we just immediately leave. Matt just saved us three minutes, chat. So, Josh, we should uh, give him a letter for that, so his empty letterman jacket can finally have a letter of something. Huh? My bad. By the uh, way, if you have the enhanced or extended edition of this game, you actually video? lose time because you get Matt, an extra cutscene with Emily and Matt. Oh my God! Don't you remember? So don't have the good version. Have the have the broke version. I got the stilettos, and you knocked over the raft while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right. She knew there was no actual letters on that jacket. Letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need also, my Emily knows too. Oh Why do you think she uses the word designer? Do you seriously think she knows it's not an actual letterman. There's a good version? Yeah, there's an enhanced edition that gives you one extra cutscene. It gives you a scene with Emily and Matt walking back to the um, on, to get the bags. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. You hate Emily? 
Would you date Emily if you could, though? That's okay. the question. I love Emily. I think she's fun. I don't know if I'd date her, but she's fun. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. No? No? You would date Emily in a heart heartbeat? Well, there you go. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if you've seen the cutscene. I still don't exist. How far is I think Emily is fun. Cabin anyway. This cabin. Less, thank you. Is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes on. Also, now it's time to play as Chad. If we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn star. Thank you for all the blessed chat. Need these. Also, it's, look, it's Oscar award-winning Rami Malek. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. You wouldn't die you wouldn't date Oscar Award winning Rami Malik? Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Alright. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. I wonder what would happen if he said yes. Makes you think. They're the keys to horny each other. Jess is hopeful. She is hopeful. Like, haha, just kidding. Uh, uh, unless. Anyway, we're actually going to entirely avoid Jess. She wants to have sappy love moments. We don't want that. We're leaving. We're still going to get the best Jess outcome, but we set the Amelia door. <laughs> we're just immediately booking it to the cabin. Mike wants to get laid as quickly as possible. So he's going to be rushing to the cabin. Just absolute sprinting. Also, this gate is not powered yet, so you can't actually open it. It's weird that it's a powered gate, so you have to go to this cabin, and you have to power it up. It's a generator. It's really simple, but again, like, you know, if you accidentally click on the gate, you lose a bit of time there, because right. you messed up. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Oh, yeah. Makes a powered gate? Good question. I think it's an electronic lock specifically. So I don't think the gate's physically powered. I think the lock is powered, but it is a powered gate. Also, yes, you can't climb it. You have to power it up. See? And there's the gate. So it's important to go to the generator first. Good, right? Yeah, totally. No, it's awesome. Also, oh, hey, look, it's ass. Not quite booba, but you do have ass. And music. I actually like the songs as he plays. Well, I mean, if you're wondering, Josh's family throughout the game, we're not going to be seeing it because, um, you know, we're just kind of not reading a lot of the notes. But if you look around the house, you learn that Josh's family is essentially, they make Hollywood special effects. Like, they write scripts, they do special effects, they pretty much a lot of movie stuff. Exactly. Ask now, booba later. Also, again, we're not talking, we're just going to ignore it every time. In fact, we've taken the lead now. You have extra little times you can build dialogue and talk about things. We're not going to do that. We're just going to immediately ignore that. Also, you can hear the screeching of the woods. Did you hear that? Exactly, the Chad Shride. Something. Yeah. It's powerful, really. I'll say doing bits, I'll be doing good. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, Alright. No also, I fixed a few decisions last time. Josh! Okay, we're gonna be doing the heroic option. I think I, both options are fine. From what I've learned, both options are probably fine here. However, there's two things you want to do. One, if you're a Coomer, you want to do the heroic option. Two, if you want to speed on this game, you want to do the heroic option. It's faster to immediately go down after, which should be right. Did you get out? I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. So we're going heroic. Also, there's a QTE coming up. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. 
sub. Want to help me move this cart thing? Look at Mike, an absolute Chad. You have to be heroic. It's faster. This is not what I pictured. See the Chad. Also, mash triangle because there's gonna be a little like minecart section that, like falls falls towards you. Thank you for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. So we're just gonna mash triangle. See. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. It prevents you from getting stumbled and falling over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm fine. Oof, my neck. That's a good crack. No, you don't get hit by the minecart and die. Um, I'm gonna give a, a minor spoiler for right now. Uh, most of the game's characters oh, actually really? can't really die. Um, they can't die until certain mm, parts. Like a uh, good example is Mike and Sam will live until the very end. No matter what you do, they can't die. We'll save it for the cabin buster. So it is food for thought on that one. As well, the mines can get a bit confusing, but the answer here is just go left. Yeah, I'm doing good. They are malt liquor. They are. I don't think this place is up to code. So if you try killing Mike, nothing bad you do can actually kill him. There's a few things you can do that are bad for Mike, but you can't really kill Mike. He's not meant to die until the end of the game. As well, same with Sam. Um, certain characters, though, can die really early if you're not careful. The first person who can die might shock you. Because I know people have their ideas of who die who normally dies first in, you know, a horror game, but the first one that can die will be surprising to you. It is nice. Nice and romantic, right? By the way, the mines play a powerful um, moment in the game. Uh, the mines are supposed to kind of ta tell you about, like, something that happened in 1952 that comes back later. You know, I guess that is true. The first person that could die is technically the player. You are right about that. Well, technically nobody is dying in this one, so nobody dies first. But whoever can die first can, you know, also your opinion can change that. And if you pick the right character, someone else can die first later. Well, well. The earliest possible death, though, will be actually Jessica right here. So Jessica is the earliest character who can actually die. Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Say, ooh, a telescope. There we go. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Well, funny, even if you fail all the QTEs with Mike, it's just kind of inconvenient for him. <laughs> like, he just hits his ribs on, like, a bunch of things, and they should be broken, but still. Um, you can finish the game with the one survivor. You can have two. There, you can finish the game with a lot of, actually, survivors, oddly enough. I think there's a way to get every number of survivors in the game, technically. In total, you can have eight. But I think you can technically get everyone, like, you know, you can have every, like, one to eight numbered. There is a way for that, technically. Or if you wanted to kill only one person specifically, yeah, you can have any combo of survivors, to my knowledge. And just, you know, depending on how you're doing it, you might need to do some more workarounds. Also, it's here. And a bird. Watch out, bird also, remember the chat option is always fastest. It's just, just answering is made. The way Josh works out will depend later. We're not going to do any spoilers, just in case people want to know how the game turns out. Remember, avoid spoilers, everyone. Do avoid the spoilers. I mean, just in case maybe someone wanted to watch us get the story in a quick way, I do want to make sure that's present. So let's try to avoid the spoilers. All good. Saying anything in one way or another doesn't tell me indicate anything. Who has the most different opportunities to die? I think it's actually Chris. It's either Chris or Matt. And then Emily has a lot too. Damn it, Josh. Could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Also, I like how they're expecting yeah, Josh just to do this one. True is on true. You got something on your face. And look, she covered him. Imagine there's a rock in that snowball. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. 
Also, there's the cinema scenes ding. Yes? Ding. Yes. <laughs> there it is. Oh uh, yeah, you can kill everybody. You can kill everyone in the game if you want to. You can kill absolutely everyone. Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well... Ashley's the hardest to kill? To the bath. Oh. Ashley, you can only really kill like twice. Oh, There's two things you can kill with Ashley. With that? Well, there may be more than one thing too, but I'll have to double check. Alright, well, yeah. Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Josh is big horny. He's Oscar winning, Oscar award winning horny, not just regular horny. And now we get to play as Sam, who wants what to take a, sh take a bath. That? Hey, I saved Emily in my playthrough. I killed a lot of other people, though. Rami Malik, you a point redeem? No, we're not gonna make Rami Malik a point redemption. Also, right now, we immediately want to go back downstairs. Our whole goal is to kind of uh, go get the hot water on us, Sam. Also, you got to see some of the funnier parts of this game. Those things are a joke, man. There we go. I saved an odd amount of people on my end. Like, I was able to save everyone really quick. I was everyone dies running time compared to save everyone about 20 minutes or so. Probably more than that, actually. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. Alright, you guys. And also, depending on how you're doing it, let me double check the exact world record difference is. Let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger. World record difference is. Let's see. Okay. About 14 minutes. Between any percent world record and all survivors, it's about 14 minutes. Saving the dog will add a bit of time, but yeah, there's a 14 minute difference between the two categories. Uh, saving everyone does uh, make a big difference. It add, like there's a lot of time added by saving people, and again, um, oh, also I, I had to save scum as well, but also like. Admittedly, I kind of think one thing is bullshit because when you're playing the game and have to do the moving, there's a big issue there because the game isn't, you know, isn't as easy as you imagine. But the bolt the controller vibrating in your own shaky hands, it gets kind of annoying. I was going to say, if Shadow doing good. Well, neither. If he doesn't go for it, which knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. I went the wrong way, shit. That's fine. I just follow Josh. Luckily, he waits for me. Look at him. Don't worry, I said plenty of time earlier. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted. To Good say, question. I, By the way, remember, avoid spoilers of the game. Don't talk about future chapters if you it can really avoid means it. It's a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. That every character in the game can tell be saved. Josh. What would time loss usually come from here? One, I got lost, so I already lost some time right there. Yep, if you go the wrong way, you lose time. That is an actual thing. Although I went the right way earlier, so we're fine. I want us to have a good time, you know? Avoid spoilers. I think I can handle a little set of stairs. Okay. So right now, it's kind of going to add in to the thing I was talking about. A lot of people end up messing this up. watch there's going to be a moment where we have to hold a flashlight and it requires you to have a steady hand i don't need a steady hand because i can just put the controller on my desk sorry to drag you down into the bow oh just get me some hot water and i'll be super fine i mean watch. i wouldn't want you coming down here on your own you know put my controller on well it's definitely and we should be good to go here. yep not a place to be on your own well not yet first thing is just talk Talk to Rami Malik. If you're wondering what the difference is, you can look in the little uh, water heater thing before you do this, and you can find a bat. That bat is handy if you actually plan on doing Sam's section. We're not going to do that later, so we don't need to do this now. It's something nice if you need a weapon to defend yourself. We don't need to worry about that, though. But watch. Here's the strategy. Ooh, how does he do it? 
Ooh. <laughs> Elite gamer strats. No hands. Hands free. Insane gameplay. Trust me, this trick is absolutely needed, especially with the late game. I failed the late game so many times because of my shaky hands. It was terrible. What was going on there? It's a don't. It's supposed to be like a steady check, so you have to keep the light in the square. The problem is that if you're holding the controller, the controller vibrates, and there's other issues too. By the way, the way this works is um, you want to hit the button once the light turns. That's more like it. Also, high five. Five, girl. Boom. Yeah. If you miss that, you failed the whole run and have to restart the whole thing. It's very important. And there you go. The bat is now locked. You cannot get the bat anymore. Seriously? No, I'm kidding. The high five is just really minor. You don't have to hit it. That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. What it? <laughs> I'm just... Just joshing. Just joshing. <laughs> well, you nice, Veritas. Really we had fun. Out. He's just joshing you. I was not scared. No, no, you just jumped because Hey, if my name was Josh, I would say that all the time. I, I'm just I'm just joshing oh you. You were totally freaked out too. What? <laughs> no. As white as a sheet. No, no, come on. I've been I've been down here enough. This place makes all kinds of sounds. Just joshing oh, you. Just gotta belch out sometime. So right now we're gonna have to explore the basement. You gotta be heroic or not. No, this game is fine. This game is fine, Devastator. The move's not directly in my eyes today, so my eyes are nice. Oh, yeah, you can miss the high five, and you miss it. It's sad. He just tells you boo or something like that. Nothing regular about it. Yeah, of course, of course I can. Like I need bad decisions. I'll tell you early on. I'll tell you. I mentioned that earlier with the animals. Um, and I'll kind of tell you what they lead into as well. So heroics will be nicer because it just takes more time otherwise. Uh, this way we can kind of lead into the event we're getting into much faster if we pick heroic. Again, the chat answers are mostly going to be faster. We immediately want to get into this little jump scare section. Look! And then it's going to be circle. An important thing to do, by the way, is you need to open the door. Um, because there's going to be a little door here. If you don't try opening it, you can be here forever. Well, it's scary as a kill. It's a jump scare. Keep out strangers. Hey. What? Hey. Hey. What the hell? Oh, you just got mumped. What? <laughs> Chat, post point. your face when you got mumped. Why would you? That was me when I got mumped. Just. There's all this cool old booby crap down here. What was I? Was I not? That was my face when I got mumped. Are you? Are you serious? It's like a lot of good faces when you get mocked. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like no, the A. <laughs> you gotta be joshing you? No, no, he was joshing you. That He was christening you that time. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Get monked. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Ghoul? No, we weren't ghoul, we were monked. You were scared, admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. Thank you for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. <laughs> How's it going, Moggles? Hope you're doing good. What God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please but yeah, Josh's family has a lot of movie violence. stuff. And uh, you can see awards around the house for like special okay, effects and okay, writing and all that stuff. Thingy. That's why they have a, you know, they own the Boy, mountain, no, no, essentially. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? Also, now I Sam finally has to take her bath. My crystal ball. All right. So, so chapter fun. three is where we're gonna start kind of uh, kicking a bit more into high gear. Okay. As well, before we do that, we're just gonna be picking all the left options. Ashley was trying her best. Hey, Captain Phil. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the swarm. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day today. I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure. You had some good emotes. Tier one for three months? Wait, did it say three months? Did it? Wait. Do you share this fear? I only saw the tier one. It did say three months, you're right. The tier one for three months, that was more than just... Yeah, yeah, that was three months, yeah. Wonder why it didn't say it. Thank you very much, Catfield, for the three months of tier one. Yeah, that's weird, it only told me tier one. Exactly, Marty. Yeah, it is going well, Malafi. 
Hey, no worries, Captain Phillips. Much appreciated. Yeah, you did buy a three months up. It showed up in my like my feed, but it didn't show up on the screen. Either way, though, thank you for the tier one for three months. It's much appreciated. What's well, Peter Stormare? I don't think did Peter Stormare win an Oscar? Hey, he'll have his bloody scissors in time. How you doing, Drackle? A lot of this is just going left. Again, it's just Peter Stormare ranting. We want to keep his rantings a little bit lower. Hey, Sony money is not a joke, Veritas. The Sony money got some great actors. Like, this game got, uh, Sony, Sony dollars. You know? See you sooner. Look after your friends before caring for those in great need. Screen Actors Guild Award nominees at best. Hey, Rami Malek won an Oscar. We'll talk again soon. I, I don't know how that's relevant because Rami Malek's on screen right now, but... Rami Malek. Just saying. Yay, look at me, I saved 23 seconds. I'm a Chad. It was just a prank, prank hand. hand. She said it! <laughs> it was just a prank hand. Well, that'd be the last Today prank hand of the game. Today is the anniversary of the dreadful tragedies of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I the curator guy is weird because he has so the weird zoomer Hannah haircut. And Beth that we're, we're all still here together. She did say it. Of thinking of them. It's weird as well because a lot of this marathon commentary is waiting for decisions, which is nice and kind of, you know, minor tidbits of the story. Um, if there are any questions about the story that come up at this point, I'm more than happy to explain them. But a lot of them is, you know, we're doing the flashbacks, kind of going through it, and a lot of the early games is kind of setting seeds. Not too much is going to do all that much. In fact, like, the next portion of the game we get into is going to be, over, like, overall pretty meaningless. Watch out for that, Josh. Like, one of the upcoming decisions is we're going to pick a character because their name is shorter. Yes. And it's funny how that saves time. Like, just having less syllables in a name saves time. And the main reason I'm ending this is uh, the spirit board. So you have to make some decisions and you'll kind of be um, asking a lot of questions. Uh, we're going to be going just mostly the fastest answers here. Chris, come on, this is serious. Hey, this game is great. I'm deadly serious. <laughs> but I'll tell you which name we're going to pick when yes. we get there. It's silly. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since... He is spectacular. He is. A Luigi board. What about a Waluigi board? We're going serious, by the way. Um, going serious is less there? dialogue than flippant, because flippant you makes you like, Oh, the great that? spirits, can you come out? Meanwhile, just, hey, anyone there? And you can kind of see the difference in the acting. You want the faster acting. Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? Man and Medan was okay. Thing. Little Hope was good, though, Karnesh. Help? I think this game is still better than the other two How just because of sheer money help? value in the know. game. What does it mean? Because, you know, this has you more know, studio backing, it looks a bit help? better, and just has better, you know, a lot more. It has cleaner Who gameplay. Are you? Goes. Josh's plan is to win Oscars, can I tell. Remember, no spoilers. No spoilers in chat. So, right now we're talking about the sisters. We can either ask about Hannah or Beth. Hannah has more letters in it than Beth does, so we're picking Beth. That's the whole reason we pick Beth. Beth is a shorter name than Hannah, so Beth saves more time than Hannah. Who are we speaking to? Beth? Is that you? See? Oh god! <laughs> this is messed up. Right? Isn't it just great? Josh. What if it's just Are Han? Then we'll tell her it's just a prank. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, or Hannah? It's cool. I want her name is says. long. We can't pick her. I don't know where to start. No worries. Just remember. Just remember this that guy's all. You're all good. Actually, Beth, I mean, I'm just reminding people that no spoilers, just in case. But it should be fine. And, you know, um, especially as we keep playing, I can explain a lot more as we go. Beth, but right now, if you want to know Josh's plan, he invited all his friends to have a good time and party like porn stars. Can you tell us? H. A. And to Josh's friends, Beth? apparently. Yes, has a beam. 
children. Oh, good. I see. Guys, We're saving the dog this time. About. We are. Thank you for the children for five months. We'll save the dog. We'll be, we'll be nice and good there. I don't know. I just ask you something else. There we go. Sorry. When does Bill Murray show up? Not in this game. Who killed Hannah? Who was My favorite it? part is that little Hope has the guy from Meet the Millers, or We Are the Millers. L. I. B. From Weird. Library. Maybe there's it's doing so library. quickly? B. It's a Ouija board. R. O. O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. <laughs> Holy shit. A Luigi Chris? board. But yeah, has been. Join the emotes on the decision. Thank you once again. This is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen. All right. I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. No, not you beard board. Use the spirit board. Hey, hey, calm down. It's it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Poor Josh. Poor. Uh, sorry. Poor award-winning, Oscar award-winning Rami Malek. Let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. If, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Okay. So now we're back to Mike. For Mike, um, all the decisions that we end up making will give you the Coomer outcome, because the Coomer outcome yes. is actually very fast. If you're wondering what I mean by the Coomer outcome, depending on how you perform with Jessica, she can either, you know, be happy about you going to the cabin or she won't like you. If she likes you, you get the you get booba. If she doesn't like you, you don't get booba. That's the difference. So we actually want to start moving forward as fast as possible. Jessica. And we're just going to be going through it the whole time. Oh, come on. Jess. We're going to avoid spoilers, but for Josh's stuff, you'll you'll see how it goes. Josh has made, um Josh has the least amount of saving totally you can do from. I will mention I Josh can be saved, but he has the least amount. Also, there's a no. just a deer head. I don't know where she that found was that. So good. No. Also, again, we want to pick the chat answer. Don't pick the non-chat answer. Also, Veritas, the moment 2016 does suck, and you have good taste. There's a run with no booba. Getting no booba actually loses you time, though. Because if you get no booba, that means you messed up somewhere. Minty trap in two under six months, getting your green scissors. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. By the way, you gotta be witty. You gotta be a chad. My pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to. Also, yes, every character in the game can be saved. Every main character. There's only one person who can't be saved, and they're not meant to be saved. And I'll get to them later. There are ten save. Oh, there's nine savable things in the game. Oh, we go around the bridge. And right now is going to be kind of a weird one. Some decisions you would think harm you more than they should, but they don't actually do anything, and it's wow. really weird. Like so sometimes you might see me make a bad decision or fail a decision. That's actually just going to be faster in some cases, mm -hmm. because by doing that, I'm just going to be getting to the actual, like, you know, effect of that later. So in a moment, you're going to be seeing me toss a snowball. I'm just going to be immediately throwing it. And they say a rock or something. Oh yeah, you can see the whole story. That's why I want to avoid spoiler just in case. Was it someone oh yeah, I'll say it right now though. You'll see what happens. Just no, keep watching. Uh, and I'll guarantee you right now that everyone can be saved. Squirrel? Can be. Keyword can be. But we'll see how it happens. It depends on how I play. Maybe I make a mistake early. What? So right now is actually going to be a weird decision. No. And you can make this decision without any ill effects. Hello? This supposed to be kind of a thing where, you know, uh, you can, like, throw a rock. Um, you don't have to throw the rock, but throwing the rock just causes the event to happen faster. And it doesn't hit anything. Either way, that deer will come out. Throwing the rock just causes it to happen faster. It's weird that you think that would be disturbing nature, but it doesn't. All it does is it causes the event to happen faster. So we're all good there. And that's weird, because I mentioned, oh, we don't want to mess with the animals, but that, weirdly enough, doesn't mess with the animals. And there's going to be a few decisions like that in the game. Charming. Have we saved the deer? Ed well, I actually come up to uh, that deer in a moment, because I know the one you're talking about. Okay. Also, don't go in that cabin. That cabin only serves to... Uh, actually, if you want 100%, you have to go there, but, you know, we don't need to go there right now. 
When I think, I, I don't know anything about Detroit Become Human. Never played it, actually. Wolf, uh, I never played a wolf. Totem? We don't need any totem. I think that one has a mask. So, like, if you want, you have to gather all the, like, all the masks, all the notes. You have to gather everything. And I think it has, like, a note and a mask in there or something. You do need something in that room. But also, it has a chance of ruining your date with Jessica. What does messing with the animals do? There will be a decision later where nature will take its course on one of the survivors. It could lead to a death if you mess with too many animals. So we don't want to mess with any, and as well, it's generally longer to do so. Also, we're going to be putting the deer out of its misery, because that's a polite thing to do. It's horrible. Also, the deer's on, like, fire. I don't think he's going to make it. The deer ran too fast. Also, Mike is the world's strongest man. Look at this uh, Chad. Is Mike's angry hey, face? Bye. Maybe. Hey. I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Well, I mean, the deer's on fire. You want to kill it okay. to put it out of its misery. Uh, how do I... Uh... I can't watch this. Yeah, without okay. spoiling it, though, Factory, okay. if I okay. mess with too many animals, uh, you can lead to a character death. So you have to be careful not to do that. Also, he ripped off his whole skull. Like, Jesus Christ. And then the body just vanished. Alright, by the way, these are all premeditated, so as we circle. As on special light, good to see you. Wait, what? That's weird. Did my button not work? Huh, weird. I think it worked. Never mind, I think we're fine. Yeah, weird. I don't know. I think that worked. That was weird. Also, counterintuitive. Grab the key. Do not save her. Grab the key. It's faster. And you get the same outcome. Do not help her. She'll yell at you. Just grab the key. Yes. Yes, get up. Hurry. I'm also going to do a good special life. Where am I from? Uh, oh my god. America. That was close. How's it Barbie? Oh. Mike's a Chad. He ripped the head off a deer. Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? He ripped yeah. off its skull. Booba, you will get your Booba. It's not going to be full Booba. It's minor. It's a hot tub stream. That's what it is. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. I should look at bears on the internet. Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Well, Mike has always been a chat. That's why we like Mike here. I'm almost feeling relaxed. I don't look up bears on the internet. No, not really. Huh. Typical. Arr. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yes. Fire America? Ah, it doesn't matter. Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. <laughs> Michael. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. So we have to give her a proper, roma proper romantic setting. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in an atmosphere... Nobody's died life. yet. We're all good. Right. Well, well, I mean, I guess the deer died, but that's a deer. I mean, we can't do anything about that deer. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. You know, probably, uh, Zogi. Probably. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to immediately go to the matches once we're able to. First things first, you get this line of dialogue. By the way, I've never understood how so many people lose their phones all the time. Like, I understand that she lost her phone here. I don't judge that, but like, I, this is like the first phone I've gotten that was new in like years. I've been doing good breaking views. Like, I usually use a phone for like five years before I end up breaking or, or losing it. Usually, I'm kind of forcing her to upgrade at some point. I know this is kind of more of a minor detour. I just kind of like, I never understood how people, like, four phones in a year. Like, how? You said her iPhone 6? I had an iPhone 7 for a while. But then I accidentally cracked the screen recently, so I had to get a new one. But it's been nice, so I don't mind it. I ended up buying it, and it's not bad. I suppose that's true. Also, here's the worst line in the game. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? 
You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? That's all I have to do. You just turn on the light. Yep, game. Game. There uh, we go. Take That's a lot harder than it looks. I'm just gonna light a fire and turn on the light. And it's like a weird Street Fighter thing. That's how I kind of keep in mind. But now we lit the fire, we're all good to go. Man one, fire zero. Exactly, Caden. That line is awful. I'm glad you think so, Priya. I'm glad you think so. Looky, looky. Right. Gonna fire up some nooky. What comes next? Also, here you go, everyone. It's time for your booba. By the way, she lost her phone, so now she's just singing the music. Because she still needs music to dance, but now she has to sing it. <laughs> Apparently not. Also, now Mike's gonna be cold. Alright, here you go, chat. You can finally post it. Yeah, there's an ultraviolet vision, you're right. There you go, there's your booba. Mike? You want a little music? Well, she was singing it. There you go. Yeah, quickly we just have to go out. We have to go find what we heard in the back. We're quickly disturbed for a moment. Hey, by the way, look! Now we have the music. See, look, it's her phone. Apparently, the bear has brought her phone back. It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? It's a horror game. I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, fuck! Right, the bears are nice, Bathless. Goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. Just when they were getting down to business. Why the phone comes back? Actually, we don't learn that. I have no idea why the phone comes back. Hey! Like, they don't yeah, actually explain that. Rex, that means you. I know you're out there. What are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? You can't. You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck. That's there right. you go. We are going to have sex and it's gonna be hot. So enjoy it because I'm now weird. Respectful going to bears, exactly. <sighs> this is horny. Well, she is announcing to the bears that she's going to fuck. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> Say goodbye to Jess. Don't worry, Samurai. The bear is preventing TOS from banning the stream. We're all safe. Don't you worry about us. You the really bears have saved the stream. So we're safe now. The bears knew oh, Jess would get the stream banned on Twitch. How is she not dead? The bears don't want to kill people. The TOS bears, exactly. It's the TOS bears. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping God. It together, but... Invisible walls. I think we shouldn't have mentioned right. his sisters. I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not... Exactly, they're keeping this game on the rated seance. T for teen rating. Actually, I think this game's rated M for sure. Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? I don't think the there bear is Oscar Award winning Rami Malek. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. So right now you have a little section you play as Ashley and Chris. And this is by continuing the seance from earlier. Oh, so something that's kind of stupid oh, is we're right, simply quickly be playing as Chris. Are, you are right. locked in the section until you look at the note in the back. Secret. You have to read it. I, mean, maybe they didn't like, I accidentally it's had one time I played this game and I didn't so read the note. And like I was like, oh, wait, why aren't I getting through? I was like, oh, I didn't read the whole note. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. And it's sad stuff. It's just a prank, Han. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... And the problem as well is there's like a minor load when you're picking that up, so you can't immediately turn it. You have to wait. No, 
now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? By the way, I, I want to make sure that I'm making good decisions with Ashley. This is going to come in handy later yeah, in the game, but we have to be honest with her. We have to make sure that it's Chris and Ashley are going to be lovey-dovey. We have to get them together. This is serious. We need to find Josh If you right don't, now. it's bad. It's really bad if you do not make friends with Ashley. You have to. So keep that in mind when you're playing this. Too many bad decisions with Ashley can lead to a very bad decision. I'm just gonna say that right now. What was in fact, that? I'll just tell you right now as well. Like I'll just uh, say it like leading to future events. Uh, you can lead to a potential character death if you do not save, if you do not make friends with it's Chris Ashley. It's just a prank, con. It's just a prank, Han. So. Thank you, um, Nate Rocket, for the two on the forty-five biddies. I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. It's much appreciated. What? I like how it says Han. There was like this one How do you say hand is my like question? Hand. Hand? hand? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Ham. And then I found that- It's just a prank, man. Letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better- Poor Sam. So this isn't Sam, this one's Ashley. Two hands, it might be two hands. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh. Coming from, coming from the kitchen. <laughs> It's a nice Josh! Luxie Doodle. Josh! Josh! Hold on. All the characters will be uh, saveable. I'll kind of like. I think, in my opinion, the hardest ones to save are going to be. Um, I think Matt is probably the hardest one to save. And I'll kind of mention when we get more to Matt situations. But Matt has a lot of situations that are very counterintuitive. What do you think? Also, bonk. That's one of the things I was talking about earlier. Since we picked the Scarecrow, it looks more like a Scarecrow instead of a Clown. This is one of the major differences. Nate Rocker. It's just a prank, Han. I keep saying Han. Think of the Hunting Biddies. It's just a prank, Han. You jump? Well, it is scary. A Scarecrow has punched Ashley and Chris. But yeah, instead of a Clown, we ended up getting a Scarecrow. I would actually close the door behind her. Ashley's not the smartest person. I think if you type in hand, it might actually work. And just a prank hand. Should we call it Until Horny Jail? That's good. Wait, hold on, see. Hold on. It's just a prank ham. That one actually kind of worked. Thank you for the 100 uh, just a prank biddies. It's much appreciated, unnatural. <laughs> it's just a prank whatever your fucking name is. <laughs> they rock your name with 145 more biddies. And just a prank, whatever your name is. Perfect. Maybe I'll make that the 100 bitty. It's just a prank, Han. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Make a quick one. So, I'm just going to be picking all left for these ones. All this does is it makes a, um, you know... As much as you pretend to. It changes some of the character relationships well, a bit. That's all it does. This, this does nothing major. Nonsense. And I think the fastest dialogue for this is disliking Matt. Realistically, all this does, nothing matters. It just narrows down who the last one is. So we're just going to be picking left the whole time. Also, we do prefer Emily, so that's why I pick Emily. As a pulled punch, and probably would have knocked him out. Maybe Chris has brittle bones. That was a doorknob. Everything I thought, maybe Chris has really brittle bones. Emily's great. We stand a queen here. Also, this kind of leads back into the thing. Like, you kind of pick the characters you like and don't like. And like I mentioned, this can change a very minor thing in the game. I don't want to mention it because it does lead to spoilers. But this does actually have a change. And the change here is really subtle. I'll just say, it, what this does is this will change... I mentioned that when you pause the game... You can look at character relationships. For a certain character, which you'll learn about later, this will actually affect the relationships with each other. So, since we chose that we dislike Matt, Matt and another character's relationship end up actually going down. And this happens with whatever character you pick. If you know the twist, it's really cool. I learned that recently, by the way. It is an rocker. Yay! I gold it by 11 seconds. I'm fast. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interest. It's just a prank, Han. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. 
We don't know the strength of Chris or Josh. Sorry, Matt can pull the head off a deer by that logic, right? Whose sister? Josh, Emily is great. She's human. Which sister is it then? Also, we know Chris is apparently weaker than a Wolverine. Okay, so right now we're actually going to be hitting the ground running in this chapter. Uh, you may have noticed that Jessica got torn out the window. Now we're hitting the ground running. We're in chapter four. I mentioned a lot of the stuff is going to be happening. I've not played the impatient. What's going to happen is Jessica can currently die if we make the wrong decision. The decisions we make here are going to be very, very important. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking all the shortcuts. You have to take shortcuts. I think in total you're allotted about three mistakes. We'll learn in time, Private Bundy. We'll learn in time. So, first things first. We want to make sure you hit all the QTEs and... We go, we take all the shortcuts. Remember, you have to be the Chad. You want to make sure you hit all the QTs. I mean, pay attention here. Personally, I've never failed these, but to my knowledge, you are allowed three failures. The idea behind this as well is if, um, you know, you're trying to rush to find Jessica, so you need to take the fast rat. Like again, like I mentioned, you want to take all the Chad moves. Right now, this actually will be a bit of a forced aiming section, so you do have to look around. It's immediately going to be downright. Two T's are fixed, so they'll always be the same, but I, I don't always remember them. Jess! There she is. No! Now shoot? No, we're not going to shoot Jessica. That would kill her. Oh, shit! Well, I hope that didn't mess it up. See, even I make mistakes sometimes. If that messed it up, I'm redoing this from the start. I don't think the whole thing is dead. I think you're allowed three mistakes and are correct. Which acting? No, no, I did actually mess up. I did actually mess that one up. There we go. I hope we don't accidentally kill the dog with this, by the way. This can't kill the dog later, but like, you know, I have to do more things like this where it's fast paced uh, QTs. Uh, Thank you, Elsa, the hundred biddies. It's just a prank hand. It's just a prank chat. Clearly, I meant to fail that because falling down is faster. Alright, so we're gonna learn really quick if I got this right or not. Uh, if you're wondering, how do you know? Thank you, Nate with the 95 biddies. It's just a prank piece. The way you can tell if you got it properly. Jessica! I think we did get it. I think we actually did get it. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. I think we should be fine. I don't think the game is so punishing where one failure kills Jessica. I think, if I remember correctly, you do get three mistakes. It does say EC. It doesn't know how to pronounce my name sometimes. And this route's always also the same. You just want to go down the mine. By the way, a gently brisk walk instead of, a, you know, Jessica! sprinting. The way you know if you got this right is we're going to see an upcoming, like, great. Jessica has to be on it. If she falls onto it, that's bad. We don't know yet. She, like, teleports in. It's weird. Yep, there she is. Okay, we're good. We're good. So the fact that her jaw is not unhinged, we are now safe. Uh, we will approach her. But you can see she's still alive. Jess, are you okay? See? I did lose a bit of time from the uh, longer time with the options counter mistakes. Yes. Uh, I don't recommend taking any of them. Like, if you really want to try for the best one, you have to take all the fast routes. I think taking a slow route does count as a mistake. You don't want to take those. Yeah, so if you mess up, she'll fall onto the grate and she'll be missing her jaw. Also, you want to take the shot because it's faster.
And remember, we want to take the, all the chat options. Yeah, so she'll already be dead and missing her jaw. She'll end up falling onto the grave. And they make it clear. Um, the cool thing about Until Dawn is in many cases, unless you see a character's dead body, they're not dead. And that's going to sound really weird for this game. There's only one shot in the gun. No matter what you do, the upcoming shot won't work. So shooting that is more important. And a lot of times there's going to be a okay. section coming up where like, oh, you fired okay. the gun, and you're wondering, oh, uh, will I have made that? Um, the answer is you always need to, uh, you know, shoot properly. Oh! By the way, if you're wondering what does falling off here work, uh, if you end up messing this up, you just fall down and have to do it all over again. You lose a lot of time messing this up. And Mike is a chad after all. He is the chad. Man's dedication to Blue Belt. Well, now it's revenge. Shit. See, like, right now, you'll... Uh, not right now, on the next one. You'll kind of see Mike taking a shot, and the gun will actually jam. So the gun, the gun will always jam here. It doesn't matter if you didn't fire the gun or you do fire the gun. The shot will never go off. So we just don't take it anyway. What the? It always jams. Come on, come on, you piece of shit. I just gotta make Why was there a bullet in there in the first place? It's a gun. Ah. Matt is the ultimate Chad? He might be, actually. I think it's like a rock, paper, scissors thing, you know? Like, the Chad beats, or, like, the Brad beats the Chad, but the Chad beats the Virgin, but the Virgin beats the Brad. It's like rock, paper, scissors. You know? So Matt can beat Chad, but Chad can beat the Virgin, but the Virgin can beat Brad. The question is, who's the Virgin? You don't know. I guess it would be Han, but Han died. So, there we go. Chad beats Kyle. Chris, I suppose you're right. Anyway, we have now saved Jessica for now, and uh, she'll come back later. Uh, the way you can confirm that again is if her jaw is missing, she's dead. If um, she just falls down, she's safe. And this kind of notes an important thing with Until Dawn. If you don't see a character's dead body, and like them being completely dead, they're not dead. Just remember that. That's a very important rule of this game. A lot of people tend to miss this. Also, now we need to play as Chris. And we're going to have a very important decision that will save time for us later. It's going to be kind of weird on how this ends up totally working. Ashley? Because, like I mentioned, Chris has a lot of decisions you have to be careful on. If you mess up too many of Chris's decisions, you can actually uh, just have Chris die, which is not good. Ash. We want to Ash. immediately be going outside. We're looking for Ashley. The fuck? I mean, I think she would rather be alive than dead, though, you know? I know I would. Ash? Yeah, Jess won't be, like, back in the game until Chapter 9. So Jess will be safe pretty much the entire time. Um, Jess's section will heavily depend on how we do it. We're going to have another character with her later. But for right now, Jess is safe almost all the way to the end of the game. As well, not all the characters have the same finale. And we'll kind of talk That's about fine. that more to get to it. Like, certain characters will be saved at different points. Like, I'll say right now, uh, there's going to be, like, one grand finale for most of the characters. But Jess is going to have her own section. It's kind of weird. Out there? Exactly, Nate Rocker. Remember, chat, if Eftesis dies, we can't assume unless. By the way, we want to go right here. Think of the 40 bits, by the way. Unless it's shown. And I feel like if I die, there'd be some kind of Ash. notice. I have a funny definition of save. Hey, it's not my definition, it's the game's definition. The game heavily weighs on the fact of you need to see a character die and Ash. they're not dead. Ash! Ash! Hey, look. Slacks. We're going inside this house right now. By the way, um, so I've played this game a few times, Ash. and every now and again there could be a bug that gives me a wrong decision. You have to be very careful with this bug. Uh, it can be, be pretty brutal, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see what happens. Ashley. Let's see. Red. Uh, Ashley. Oh. Okay. So right now is actually going to be a simp test. I have to kill one of the characters, Josh or Ashley. It's going to be a simp Hello. test. And thank you all so Chad, for joining what are we? Are we Chads or a simp? Remember, you always have to give a Chad answer. A little experiment. Sort of test. Now for this experiment, we need the cooperation of our two test subjects. Thank you, Nate Rocker. Joshua and Ashley. What? Oh my god. But we're going to need one more Remember, you always have to pick the Chad answer here. 
Which so, who will we kill? And which will die? Oh, no. I don't know, Wolf. I'm not too sure. Do you want to save Ashley or Josh? Your Please. best friend? Or do you want to save the girl you're, you're so very with? simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. So All the answer we actually want to pick is, is going to be Josh. You will save. Can you save both? We can only save one right now. We want to save Josh, actually. Hopefully the game doesn't bug out. Okay, 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 okay. You can say okay. simp, you just can't call people simps. People don't understand this because they don't Buddy, really get this. Oh just think about you can absolutely say simp. You can't let me die! Just give me a second, I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just... Huh? So the goal that we want to do is you want to save Josh. God, Ash. I'm sorry. There we go. We're gonna save Josh. Wait a minute, no! Oh no, it's a mistake. It's my head. Josh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh. Why would you do this? We were killing Oscar Award winning Rami Malik. Well, I've been recording this for an hour and 45 minutes, so we're gonna keep going. Yes, Thank you, Nate Rock, for the hundred biddies. Rest okay, in peace, please. Oscar winning actor Rami Malik. Oh. I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you there. I'm letting you down. We're gonna keep That's recording this. Let me just change the category to on, all on, seven let's, survive. Let's oh. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No. See, look, he'll be fine. No. All right, here's the logic. Here's the logic. Go, okay? It's really cold outside, so we're gonna glue Josh back together later. But don't worry, I think he'll be fine. He'll be okay. He'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll glue him back together. We have duct tape. That'll be an option in the game, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll glue him back together. He'll be fine. Nice. Don't you worry about him. Ashley. So I will say, though, and I know we've been memeing, but picking okay? everything we did there was actually what? the correct okay, choice. Josh, it won't make sense Josh, right now, what? but it will make you sense later. Just trust me on this. Wait, what? Right in front of us, man. What are you talking pink? about? Pink? Okay, you can have pink. Maniac. Oh my god, we gotta get we'll glue, out of here. We'll glue Ashley Maniac. back together. Was, was Ashley won't try to let us die later. The, the choice with Ashley will be appropriate. Everything we pick will work just fine. What? Oh my god, Chris. So the thing is, right now Ashley doesn't hate us because Ashley's still alive. So Ashley thinks that we saved Ashley. We no, picked Josh. Ashley doesn't know that we wanted to save Josh. All that Ashley thinks is that we picked Ashley. So that's why this is going to be good for us later. Matt, we need to go get help now. That makes him draw. It does. That's like you, Spencer. We're doing good. Yeah, we're going to duct tape Josh back together. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Well, you always look really blue. The mountain's really cold. a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. Exactly, Nate Rocker. Thank you for the 45 biddies. Did I fuck it up? No, no, I didn't fuck it up. I, I'm just kidding. That has to happen. No matter what you pick, Josh will always die. So, us choosing to save Josh will be a good decision that happens later for us. Ashley's gonna like us either way because Ashley's still alive. It's gonna be really weird mentioning this, by the way. But us deciding to say Josh during that section will be good for us later. Just remember this. And it saves a lot of time um, when we get later in the game. Hello again. Ah, <laughs> yes. He becomes Josh. Josh. Yeah, Josh. There you go. He becomes Josh. No, no more Josh. Josh. Thank you, Nate Rock, for the hundred more bitties. By the way, I keep buying more bits, so here, act a cheese rug. It's much appreciated. And thank you for the hundred bitties. I like the shrug emote so much. He's just so smug. I also more Peter Stormare. Wait, so we have Jodge versus Shush. I, I think Jodge wins. You're showing much loyalty in the way you're playing. Jodge has vowels. So it makes more sense that that would be the winner, right? It has vowels in it. Vowels. Do you intend to continue with this elaborate self-indulgence? 
There we go. Do you even believe that I And this is the faster dialogue right now. I'm glad you enjoy them, Nate Rocker. Don't worry, Josh will be fine. He'll be okay. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to him. By the way, I wonder if I'm saving time or not. I think I am. Okay, so now we're going to deviate from the traditional speedrun a little bit right now. Uh, this upcoming chapter, chapter 5, we're going to be deviating. Normally, if you're doing this as fast as you can, what you actually want to do is you don't want to save the dog. I'll say this right now. If you're trying to get a good time, if you're trying to get the best possible speedrun time, you don't want to save the dog. We're going to be saving the dog, because otherwise people will be asking me, both on Twitch chat down here and in YouTube comments, Eck, why didn't you save the dog, you heartless monster? Why would you do this? So in order to avoid these, I, I'm going to be saving the dog. We'll save the dog, we'll be fine. I don't know how much time this loses, but I am sacrificing a PB. So you're welcome. Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my God. Why would I save the dog? There's People like the dog. Saving the dog is much interest, slower. But his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old Santa. I don't think it's six mountain. minutes, actually. I could be wrong. And by the way, technically, I should be saving a lot of time because I know better what I'm doing. And also, there's any other sections I'm saving a lot of time on. So like, we'll kind of see what our overall sum of this is going to be, and I know I can play better. So we'll, we'll be okay, you know? That's not good. That's really not good. Correct, Sigma. Kill all survivors is essentially a little bit longer than any percent. It is slightly longer than the any percent route to kill all survivors. That is the only difference. If you're wondering any percent, the true fastest method wants you to save Ashley. Everyone else dies. But from all the decisions you can make in any percent, Ashley is the fastest to save. Just her. Will I pet the dog? No. But we're not going to kick the dog. We'll be friends with him. But we're not going to pet the dog. Alright. Let's get a closer look. Dog counts as survivor, but he's not one of the eight. He's definitely nine. By the way, this does net you an achievement, so if you're looking for an achievement to save Wolfie, um, hopefully you'll be able to get that. I don't actually have it, so you'll know if I get it. So it's actually kind of a minor decision how this works, but I'll show you. Hopefully I do it all correctly, by the way. Hopefully. Uh, this, if I don't get an achievement, I gotta reset. I'll be behind my head. I'm not gonna reset the whole thing. We're getting what we get. And it's gonna be kind of weird what the actual um, notation is. Also, even if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. I do want to mention... No, Emily's important. We're not gonna kill Emily. We kill Ashley. So, if you do want to save the dog right now, it's not the end of the world if you make a wrong decision. There is a way to fix the decision. All that matters is that at the end of this chapter, you need to be friendly with the dog in order to save the dog later. Um. We're not going to kill anybody, except for one person who doesn't matter. Nope, I'll talk about that later. We're not going to kill Mike. It's actually really difficult to just kill Mike. By the way, we actually want to go backwards, not forward. By going backward, we're going to be going to that barrel you see right there. And then we're just going to push it. So I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, chat. By popular demand, we're saving the dog. By popular demand. And then in the future, if I ever do an Until Dawn speedrun, and people ask me, will you save the dog? I'll link them to this video. And then they'll go like, thank you, Eck. And they'll say, just imagine you're watching that instead of what actually happens. See, it is, it is a yay. It's a big yay right now. But yeah, we actually want to be up here. There's lots of stuff you can look for down like on the bottom. And then you find some notes, you can find some, uh, some totems. But I think one totem, but you know, you want to get up here as quickly as possible.
All right. Link to the specific part where the dog gets saved. Perfect. My favorite part is whenever I mention this game, I mention like, oh wait, this person got murdered. Like, eight people got murdered, and then people are sad that the dog died. It's like, people died, but it's not the dog. <laughs> Don't worry though, no one of value will die during this run. So there's two dogs. Um, the black dog, unfortunately, will always be dying, or black wolf, I should say, and then the, the, uh, the gray wolf will be the one that you can befriend. If you're wondering why, I think it's just because one of them is supposed to chase you during the spot, and then the other one kind of just more of a guard dog. So, keep that in mind. One of the dogs will die, you cannot save it, there's nothing you can do to save it. Um, the other one, though, will have the chance to live. It's the two wolves. It's not a gray fox. Aren't gray foxes, like, the euphemism for old people? Are good-looking old people. But Mike's a Chad, you gotta remember that. Anyway, this can get kind of confusing, so normally you want to go through this doorway, and then we want to immediately go up again. Silver Fox? Isn't that the... Well, what's the difference? As well, now you want to go downstairs. There's a lot of rooms you can look through, and you'll be able to find uh, notes and such. No, Cougars is for old women, but, like, Silver Fox or Gray Fox, that was old dudes. Hey, Marathon Commentary, we're talking about old people. So, very important thing right now. You want to make sure you have this machete. There's going to be an upcoming machete. We're going to need it. It's going to be much faster to have it. Oh, shit. So, if you're wondering, how can you lose the machete? There is actually a note in this room. Uh, the way you're supposed to know not to lose the machete is because uh, you'll be able to see a totem. And that totem will kind of show you using the machete. And it's a, you know, it's like a bear trap. Uh, this is me like an upcoming trap note, and it's supposed to bait you into being a collectionist. And if you want to collect it, you're going to have to sacrifice some fingers and the machete. We don't want to do that. We want to keep the machete because that's going to help us out later. We're going to go left during this section right here. You want to keep moving forward through here. And you will see what I'm talking about in a moment. I think it's in... Yep, there it is. So this is waving. Uh, there's a bear trap in that. So if you try taking the note that it has... Um... Yeah, it'll just be bad. Uh, you lose your, you lose fingers. We also want to go to the leftmost uh, container. This will have the key that we need. The way you're supposed to avoid that, again, is a totem, but you do lose the machete. And we want that because we're going to need it later to free a character. Also, there's the rat I talked about. And you chose that you're afraid of rats, you see a rat, because it's trying to scare you, because this is a horror game after all. Exactly, rat jam. Okay, let's check this out. Booba? I don't think that one is Booba, I'm not gonna lie to you. But we did interrupt that rat's feast. So I do apologize for that one, chat. We did interrupt his feast. And now we have a key. So, this upcoming part's pretty unavoidable, at least I've never been able to avoid it, but it won't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, all that's going to happen is that this section is going to come to a uh, an early end, I think, because we're going to be getting chased by the Black Wolf. Actually, I guess they're both gray, aren't they? No. Oh. I thought it was the Black Wolf that chased, not the gray one. Either way, this session ends early, and then we just close the door. So now that we actually have the key we need, we can get to that down area down there. And you see there's a guy down there. Dog wanted to say hi. I think that's the dog that does end up dying, though. That dog dies. There's nothing we can do to save him, unfortunately. I am sorry to tell you that, chat. There's nothing we can do to save that dog. We're actually going to be moving this way because it's going to take us down. And now we're back to the intro area we started. Spoilers? Well, I mean, there's nothing you do to save that dog. And I'd rather prepare you now than later. Right. Also, here. you do know everyone of value is going to live. I don't want someone to ask me later, but what about that dog? No. 
Also, now that we can open this door, here's an important thing. Very important decision. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world. But depending on what you do, you might need to do one of two things. The faster and safer method for saving the dog will be just walking into the room and doing nothing. Do not kick the dog. If you don't kick the dog, you have now made friends with the dog. You are now cool with each other. I've just solidified being cool with this dog. If you want to pet it and play with it, you can. Uh, you can pet the dog as a reward. We don't need to. We're not going to do that because, you know, we already got what we needed. But if you do accidentally hit the dog, that's okay. You can get a bone and you apologize to the dog. If you apologize and give a bone to the dog, it, it gives you the same result. It says it makes amends. You do lose time by that, but, you know... If you want to save the dog and continue this, that's what you have to do. Even if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. But you will have to apologize to the dog by giving him a bone. The bones are on the center pedestal. As well, we do need the jacket and gun. Traditionally, if you're not saving the dog and you just want to get a faster speed on time, you would kick the dog because you don't want to make friends with him later. Because you want to get Mike failed in another sequence. But for this speed run and for this, you know... Marathon commentary, I want to make sure that we are saving the dog, because otherwise people are going to complain at me. We're now going to be going here, and we're going to be just shooting the lock like a true American. That's called the American way of opening a locked door. Alright, now we're almost done with the mic section. This is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a neat little factor, Sigma. Am I going to be an SGDQ? I did apply for it, Cerudos, but we're going to have to see. Uh, they might take my stuff, they might not. It really is going to sort of uh, vary, you know? Remains locked? In fairness, I guess that one was more of a padlock, but still. I don't recommend trying it, but that is what happens. Oh, it definitely doesn't feel like four hours. Like, this is why Until Dawn's kind of neat. Like, I know this is a four-hour run, but it doesn't feel like four hours. It's trippy. By the way, here's a very dumb decision. I don't recommend doing this normally. Hey, it's been two hours. Hey, you know what? It doesn't feel like two hours because I'm a minute ahead right now. Well, actually, I'm probably going to be a little bit behind. Uh, think right okay so this is where it's gonna get kind of dicey Matt is arguably one of the hardest characters to save in the game you want to make sure the decisions coming up are very very calculated in the next chapter in this chapter it's pretty chill but you do need to be a bit careful we'll be picking the faster options as well look an axe I feel better with an axe. So we're actually going to take the axe. And we're going to be breaking down this door. Here's Matt. The Snyder Cut was okay. Oh, dicey or dicey? Ah, yes. Matt? Perfect. We'll the Snyder Cut was okay. I watched it in like four hours. If we start smashing shit down, he's going to hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. Why are these two out here again? They went to go see if the cable car would be there. What? Because they just heard from That's Chris great, and Ashley that, that Josh is dead. Come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. So we're gonna smash the door. Okay, fine. Here goes. It's faster than trying to shove Emily in and she won't complain. Shh, just do it! See? And then one more. Nice. <laughs> She's right? She is right. So while we're here, in order to kind of progress, we're going to have to do a few things. First, we're going to be going into the back room. This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. Emily's great. We stand a queen here, Devil. It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? <laughs> you, you can jump it? I'm good, Em. But not that good. How far can he jump is my question now. Well, Matt, if you can't...
ship jumps out, what are we gonna do? Why are they all objectively I'm assholes? Because they're human beings. So we're gonna go back in this room, if you remember this earlier, this like is where Chris so was. Um, we're going to first check on the key. Exactly what they were doing. Uh, we're gonna notice that the key's not in here anymore, and Matt will take acknowledgement of this. We have to do this to kind of, you know, get the scene right here. You need to get all no these keys, scenes. No cable car. So, back to square one. Matt, we, we need another plan. We can't just sit around and do nothing. I mean, in fairness, they're invited by Josh. I don't think they're planning just a party up here. Uh, next, we're actually going to be looking at this. Uh, this is going to give you the map of the radio tower. And we're going to have to go to the radio tower as our main mission. Hey, look. Fire tower. Sorry, the fire tower. Huh. Maybe that old fire tower will have like a, a radio or a phone or By the way, we're just going to agree with Emily here. Might. Agreeing with Emily is the well, fastest like method possible. Options. Probably, yeah. Matt, we got to get to that radio. We can use the radio. Also, chat, now you're going to learn the rules of the game. Are you ready? Here's the rules of Until Dawn. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. I mean, I think they're accurate rules. I think they're pretty accurate. And now we get to go to the radio tower. Or the fire tower, sorry. Oh, hold up. You never did like playing by the rules? Simp for the Queen Emily? Exactly. All of Matt's options are the simp options. Meat for brains? Well, funny enough, if you don't listen to Emily, you actually do die. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even lying about that. Like, there will be an option coming up later where Emily will tell you don't do something if you don't listen to her, you die. As Matt. A lot of Matt's options are gonna be kind of weird because they're gonna require a lot more of an inaction or, a, like, the weird action, you know? Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. There we go. By the way, Emily can fall down. This won't kill her. Uh, this just kind of leads to, I think, you grabbing her. She won't die here. You're all right. It's faster to save her. Thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. Matt's a mixed man. He does not only have the... He has a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Unless you're saying the chat options listen to Emily. At that point, then you know what? I could agree with that. All right. I get oh you. Gosh. I get you. Almost. The chat option is to Almost. listen to Emily. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look he out. is playing by the rules after all. Whoa. Okay. Okay. She did. Because we already know it was gonna be square. Holy cannoli! Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. So in the next chapter, Matt can die. I think actually more than just Matt can die. I think a few people can die. Maybe I think it might just be Matt. But the decisions coming up are gonna be very, very specific. As well, you have to be very careful with an upcoming decision work. in the later well, chapters. The radio. It'll work. The Stacy stride. She is a Stacy. We need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? Also, some of the late game options are going to be kind of mean, and I'm mentioning this because some of them are going to be counterintuitive. The chapter's the hardest. Um, I think maybe seven. Like the final stretch gets pretty difficult. There's also some like just out of the way situations that you might not think about and like if you didn't take the time to do it it might be some issues so some of the stuff might be counterintuitive coming up i think the next chapter is going to have that um and you'll kind of see as we go overall most people when they play this game think that matt's the hardest one to save mainly because a lot of matt's decisions are just really based on things that either one maybe you didn't think about or two you picked the wrong decision when you should pick the right decision and it's going to be really tedious. Anyway, we're actually going to be making our way over to this cliff. And you can actually hear the animals. So, remember when I mentioned you don't want to be uh, enemies with the animals? Possibly we just immediately leave. It's not so much that he has the hardest survival conditions, it's more the fact that a lot of his stuff is just not what you expect it to be. I think of most chances to die, it's Chris, and I think the earliest that can die is Jessica. So in fairness, they're not only mean to Matt. There's a lot of Matt's stuff are going to be a lot more out of the, you know, like, you're playing a little bit differently than you would think to play. And that's why Matt's a little bit different, I would say.
By the way, now comes one of my favorite sections. And chat, you can spam Booba again. Chico with a prime gaming for three months. Enjoy the bloody scissors. New boot hope you have a great day. Enjoy the emotes and hope you're doing good. Exactly, Attila the Hen. It is Booba. Exactly, it's the hot tub stream. We had a sub, so Sam's now gonna do five squats. <laughs> oh. Hello? Guys? Where's the TOS bear? Don't worry, we're gonna have a variation. What are you doing out there? Creepy. Don't worry, her contract explicitly denies any nudity, so you're not okay. gonna see full booba. TOS is safe with her. Full makeup in a hot tub? It's in her contract. By the way, here now, someone mentioned it earlier, but now we can see it. The world's greatest towel. No matter what she does, that towel will never fall. Dude, when I, like, even have a normal towel, like, I'm, like, struggling to keep it on. Secretly a dress? It is. That towel is wrapped dress? around here. Dosh. How did I find out our contract? People were mentioning we played this. Also, a lot of games will kind of have that when they have scenes like shower or bath scenes where the character model can be naked. <laughs> So we're gonna make our way down to the basement. Chris? And here comes probably one of the I funniest Evelyn? parts of the speedrun, in my opinion. I, I just, I like really it a lot. That was my neck, that's gonna be doing good. Very funny. <laughs> just, just watch. Look at just... Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had By enough? the way, we're gonna make our way to the bottom, follow the arrows. If you get lost, the arrows will help you. The balloons and the arrows, they'll tell you where to go. If you How on earth is my name pronounced? Ekdysis. Name of the follow, by the way. So we're going to be going to the right. Hey, they can follow as well. Okay, so we have a very important decision to make right now. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So, I mentioned earlier... No, it's not ACDC, it's Ictisis. I mentioned earlier that when we were with Josh, we can actually get a bat, and that bat would help hey, you during a chase scene. Guys, this is going on, to be that chase scene. However, with the, really with the su supreme decision-making that we're going to be making here, I don't need the bat, because we're Chad gamers. Hello, you just pronounce it like ACDC? Honestly, people pronounce it a lot of ways. I do Ekdysis. Some people do Ek. That's my official pronunciation, though. Ekdysis. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. Chat You're life, watch. I, I hope you enjoy the decision, by the way. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Ah, oh, yes, it is like eyes. Dickie, perfect. Oh my god. She's Look, he was getting footage of the booba. Why are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Why? Why Do you she... think she has Double any booba. idea what lies exactly. ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why? life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? <laughs> he did get that film developed fast. I don't know films are fast. Also, look, there's Josh. See, he'll be fine. We'll glue him back together now? later. He'll be fine. I'm going to give you ten seconds. I Nine, forgot we killed Josh, didn't we? Eight, no, 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 no! Seven. Please, no! Seven. Okay. Seven. Time to get into action. Get into action. Ah! We did it! So <laughs> perfect. Perfect section. We did it. So you want to fail that immediately. Like I mentioned, Sam is a perfect character who has no flaws. Wow. So, um, well she actually can't die right now. Seems to be going very well. Do you fail if you run? No. You can actually get Sam into a oh, safer area work. or you can keep her clothes on. Um, I think you can get clothes later or something. There's ways to get I Sam in a safe position. We don't need her in a safe position. That takes too long to get. Mm -hmm. I think the strategy is that she can escape and you can get a playable section with her, if I remember correctly. But we don't need that because if she gets captured, we can just we can just save her later. And also, this is what you'd be doing with another character later in the game. Like, I mentioned that we're saving the dog. I'll tell you right now. Um, 
Exactly. You forced the horny for using speed. Also, look! The killer is now attacking Peter Stormare. I can't believe it. Also, I just saved three minutes. This is partly why I'm not too worried about saving the dog, because I know how much time save I really have. Reluctant pace? Uh, no, I'm saving the dog. No matter how good I play, I'm saving the dog. Guys. Posture check? I thought it was doing good. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? There we go. You should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking so, about yes. this? Let's go! So, hey, look. Fire tower. right now, we're going to have some very, very, very important decisions to make with Matt. Matt. What is that? And with Emily. I don't know. Starting in this chapter, there's going to be a lot of death decisions. There's a lot you can do right now. And a lot of time saved to be had as well. The deer. If you messed with the animals earlier, they will be pissed off at you. To my knowledge, I think if you um, tried killing too many animals, you can actually die. Be calm. It's okay. Do not harm the deer. They're not trying to hurt you. They're just curious on your existence. They want to see Matt's false letterman jacket. They want to see there's truly a letter on there. But they understand that you know the appeal of a designer jacket. So we're just gonna walk through them. It's okay. How's it going, Amarok? Have you been good? Yeah, we're saving the dog. Yeah, it reminds me. Definitely, it helps. Dear God, it's the dear God. I mean, we're gonna have the Chad deer, and we don't want to stand up to him. The Ch that dear Chad, we have to respect him. There's gonna be an option where you can hurt the deer. If you hurt the deer, Matt will die. Do not harm the deer. It happens right now. A lot of people are very trigger happy with the QTEs. Do not harm the deer. It's okay. Just walk slow. It's okay. Come we on. just saved Matt from okay. that. That is a saving decision. A lot of people will jump the gun on these things. Uh, it's okay. But that's kind of one that isn't talking about Matt. If you fail this at all, Matt dies. If you harmed any animals, Matt dies. <sighs> well, yeah. And now we're going to play as Emily. Yeah, it's going good. So, when I did this last time, I actually lost a lot of time, and then I wanted to study up on how to do this better. Well, if you if you try to fight any of them, if it becomes an issue. Someone on the radio, like, that one looks a little bit more help. aggressive, so you have the option what to defend yourself, but wait? you don't need to, because it's back okay. To the lodge and get everyone else. Oh, God, yeah, so now the, the animal segment's now done. We, we still have to save the dog, but that's like a different animal. Needs to get back in touch with us. But that's Let's why you didn't want to kill the squirrel, you didn't want to throw a snowball at the bird, you didn't want to, you know, mess with the squirrel at all. Too many things will mess up the run. Oh, that's freaking bright. Thank you for the follow. I'm kidding. I think the major ones are just the snowball see, and the gun. That? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. And the only reason I know this is because there is a butterfly effect uh, menu. Like, it'll tell you this, and, like, the game will kind of confirm or deny certain things. Um, yeah, the deer will push Matt off if you fail that. Uh, you you want to do that in any percent, actually. So if you're doing any percent, you want to do that. We all, yeah, we also break the neck. I don't know if that one's quite needed, but you, I know you don't want to kill the animals. Correct. The first totem in the game shows you this reward right here. Um, you get, like, the, uh, the fortune totems and stuff like that. That would be one of them. So right now as well, you want to be very careful with the decisions we made. Right now, Matt really likes Emily, which is, you know, that's not bad at all. But the problem is, uh, we're going to be getting a weapon up the top. It's going to be a flare gun. We don't want to give that to Matt. I made this uh, mistake last time I did this. You will save a lot of time if you give it to Emily. And it's very important to take this for uh, all survivors. The reason why you don't want to give it to Matt is because Matt will fire it off, no matter what you do. If you always give it to Matt, he will fire it off. If you keep it with Emily, she'll make a decision. And you want to keep it. Uh, why is it so windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Now, if you're wondering why I need to keep that flare gun, there'll be a moment later in the game where Emily will kind of be a bit under duress and she'll need it. If you don't have it, that's still okay, she can still live, but the problem is it will add a lot of time in a potential death situation if you're not careful, which I'll kind of break it down more into that once we get to it. But for right now, just understand that this moment, like chap the beginning of chapter six is incredibly important on everything. Uh, you mess up chapter six at all, you are going to lose a lot. Hell, even these two aren't the only ones that can die. There's another character that you can get killed later if you mess up here. And I kind of talked about it a little bit earlier, and I'll kind of come to a head. There we go. You're right. 
And then chapter seven is gonna have another point where you can kill Matt. And it's gonna be bad. Uh, we're gonna avoid that, which is nice. So, first things first, I'm actually going to just be uh, turning on the power. That will allow me to use a radio to call for help, which is the thing that we need up here. Yeah, here we go. Nice work. Okay. But well, now, if you look around, if I, especially uh, going to the right, you will find a flare gun. You can go left, but it's a longer loop, so you don't want to go left. Go. You want to keep the flare gun with Emily. And then she stows it away. That will come in handy later. That is a very, very, very important decision. Like, I probably just saved uh, actual minutes from that. It's kind of wild. Time save achieved? Yeah, I saved a lot of time. Like, even with the dog at, like, saving, I'm going to be saving a lot of time during this run. As well, we just want to stay calm and compliant and inform them. We need help. Over, over. Shit. Hello. Oh my god. Thank god, we need help, please. But yeah, as well, if you're doing this game casually for the first time, a lot of the totems will kind of tell you some of these things. And then the way you're supposed to infer them is that you'll either see something in the totem that can help you, or you'll notice something that, you know, you want it. Like, if you do something wrong, it can be really bad. Emily is a queen. We stand a queen here, chat. We stand a queen. We're assuming comply. My name is Emily. Hello? You're not coming through clearly. Please repeat. Over. We're on Blackwood Mountain by the See? ski lodge. There's a killer and he's after us. He's already killed one of our friends. She's oh, trying her best. Exactly. Even when Emily's not right, she's still right. She is a queen, chat. Queen. It's a feature of the motion sensor. Probably a fucking deer. Matt's not a big fan of the deer still. Uh, I need to be careful with all the liquid I'm drinking, because at some point I'm going to need to pee. And this is like a, you know, a four-hour speed run. <laughs> so I don't want to have to worry about that. They said it! Not until dawn. Title drop. Roll credits. There it is. They did say the thing. So, with an upcoming UTE, I think you can really go either way. I think failing it might be slightly faster, but I want to pass it just in case. Actually, wait, I know failing this does actually save them, but even still, I want to make sure I pass it and go back. my nature to pass QDs. Oh. It's funny a lot of this isn't actually won't kill you. What's happening? The fire tower is falling. She falls anyway, it's okay. So, Emily's gonna be on the verge of death right now. This is what I was talking about. Uh, I don't think we do this right now. I think we're gonna kind of be doing this a little later. So right now with Matt, I think we do make the decision. You don't want to be a hero. That's the best I can say. Damn it! A little bit inversion. I actually did this right casually. 
But if you want to be a hero, what happens I'm is coming. Matt can die I'm if you're coming. not careful. Kim, this is pretty unsteady over here. Matt, you gotta do something. Exactly. Right now. This is why I said you know, Matt won't always have the chat decision. He's one of the only characters that doesn't. Think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. So you wanna be supportive? Emily, you're upset. You need to calm down. You're gonna be fine. Ah, Just tell her to calm me. down. Stop yelling at me and let me work this out. Okay? The main choice here that matters is at one point you're gonna have the ability to jump. Yeah, you, just you need to jump. All the time you need. Not like I'm going doesn't care, though. You also don't want to make I'm enemies either. It just takes longer. You you now, will you please it's okay to be concerned because at one point there's gonna be an extra shift. When that shift happens, you need to jump to that platform. I'm gonna jump. There it is. We just saved Matt for now. I know Emily looks like she's in danger. She's a fighter. She won't die. Trust me. She's fine. You don't give me a nice night, Kira. Jump to safety. Do not save Emily. Emily will be fine. She's a survivalist. No matter what you do, Emily will be okay. Now, the reason why you want to make sure you save Matt right now here... If Matt stays on the thing, he will die because he doesn't have the flare gun. That's the issue. Matt can die right there if you try saving Emily, if you didn't give him the flare gun. That is the only way you can save Matt. And very often, if Matt agreed with Emily she that early, he will use know, the flare gun, meaning Matt died. A lot of people lose Matt right there because they try to be a hero. You don't want to be a hero. Did that just happen? Is going on around here emily is a queen and she'll be back don't worry she's still alive Chris, that what? but yes it's that's kind of why i'm mentioning with matt it's really really um counterintuitive because you're thinking oh you should probably try to save emily you have two chances to do it they, they give you a second chance no matter what you do on the first one you get a second chance um no, I think depending on how you do it, um, the opinion will change of uh, what Emily says to Matt. It generally also depends on how Emily and Matt were treating each other. So, you'll get, well, I think we'll get good, good commentary for the speedrun. We'll save the dog, don't you worry. We'll save the dog. Yeah. By the way, this is weird because this door is locked. I know. It all closes. But you need to do this. When is the earliest you can kill all characters? All characters you can't do to the end of the game. Um, earliest character you can kill is Jessica. This is also why we wanted to go here. You have to open that door first. This one opens automatically. You can't open this door. Believe me, I've tried. Wait a minute. We're not skipping the dog. Did We're saving the dog. That? Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was like, it was like a see-through shit. Correct. Like a girl. The only reason Emily would shit-talk Matt is if, you know, you ended up doing the cat fight and then Matt wasn't defending her and you made a lot of decisions that led to that. Dorky, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hell to so right now, we also need Your to be a bit careful fried. on things. My mind is uh, luckily, a lot of the faster decisions will also lead to good decisions seen. for us. Uh, there we go. No, you are wrong. I saw it, and I am sure, Chris. All right, all right, maybe. Again, maybe Ashley and Chris need to be need friends. To we need them let's to, just, let's just to be buddy friends. buddy. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just see go through shape. And what if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh God! What if her towel doesn't hold up? Think about that, Ashley. The time difference between any percent all survivors, I think, is about 15 minutes or so. I hope you're doing good, Julian Texo. I think it's specifically about 14. But there's actually a lot of time between the two because you're skipping out a lot of sections in general. By the way, if you want to see what I would be getting most likely without, you know, with doing all the proper choices, um, just look at my sum of best at the bottom. That'll kind of be a good indication of what we'll end up getting at the end. <laughs> so right now it's going to be kind of weird, because I, I you have to get a key, um, but first you need actually to find a lot of things. You're supposed to be scared me. down here, you're supposed to be kind of finding it's steps of what the ghost wants you to find, quote unquote. Oh my God, that me. Uh, so we need to go to the dollhouse. Into it, right? I mean, you don't need to go up. It. You need to go to the dollhouse. I don't house. think so. I mean, I don't know. How did it look? Look, 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 Chris. You can see in the, the dollhouse will kind of give you a mission where you need to open it, and then no. once you open it, you'll be able to open the door on the back. Everything. Also, I like how you know the killer managed to get all the dolls. 
There we go. Alright, I, I guess you need a key if you want to play around in it. And now that I have this, we'll be able to see a ghost. Wait! Chris, 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 the ghost! What? Didn't you see it? No. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hashtag there's a freaking ghost after Hashtag us. Hashtag there's a freaking oh, ghost after hey, us. There is no ghost here. Hashtag ghost follow Dysis on Twitter. You're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. Just, 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 just saying. Just, just saying, chat. Just, 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 just saying. Like, Hannah, just saying. Wait, 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 what? There's my Twitter. <laughs> Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Maybe. They did it because... Ghosts don't exist. Exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. Who was talking? Hashtag just a prank on, hand. Chris? I don't know. But now that we have that ghost, we can move forward. <laughs> what did that? How does it now that that painting fell, there's gonna be a key behind it. If you try going here early to get the key, it won't spawn because you have to knock that down. The only way to knock that down is by looking in the dollhouse. Huh. Here you go. If you're wondering, oh casually, you just follow the ghost. There, look, Where does just a prank hand come from? Ha uh, uh, Emily says it early. See? It's just a prank uh, hand. You do see it. Yeah, I don't know. And that's the I, reasoning I, I, that it's okay I, to kill Hannah. Because it was just a prank. It's showing us the it was way. merely a ruse. Well, maybe he's still in awe that his best friend died. Oh. Not gonna lie, I would also be kind of shocked. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. What? What? Also, I like how they got dolls of Chris and Josh passed up, whoa, passed out upstairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Only in on? jest, Hannah. Oh God, it's, it's like. Look. It's not like anything. That's us, <sighs> hiding there, waiting for Hannah. Last year. Also, they got the Hannah it's so doll. Accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone. I think someone put this here. You know, with all the porcelain no, dolls, I have to wonder, did he go, paint Matt's doll, or did he just find a black doll? And Beth. I think it's this bastard like, that he's, he's here He went to all the heads. details, and they made them all Why? naked he and found doll wigs. Did he find doll wigs? He found one? He's trying to tell us that he's gonna come There's a lot of detail put into this, even with also the ghost. <laughs> I like the drunk dolls upstairs, by the way. Is this Booba? Well, you have the, you have the dolls, but I don't know if that one would count. How's it all going? It's doing good. Also, here's a diary. They aren't as common anymore. That's good to know then. Everyone being I don't know much about retro porcelain Matt dolls. So awesome. Cozy I don't really know anything about porcelain dolls. That's another creepy as shit. I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't the killer could have had him custom made. He might have been so able to. Sad, Chris. He didn't have to make them personally. I mean, they are the, all the perfect hair color. I guess he could have just found them, but I don't know. It's just really weird. Also good to know then. Good to know. Hannah like Chris? No, Hannah like Mike. Hannah wanted Mike. There we go. Everyone likes Mike? They do it. Also, a jump scare. You got monked again, go? chat. You got monked I again. Saw something, but, but where'd it go? Hold on. Have a good night, Gert. Take it easy. Uh, Have some good sleep. What was that? Huh. Yeah, it should be good now. We should be doing good. Wait, there's a whole other room through here. It's mammoth. Chris, Come on. I don't know if I want to keep going. We're going anyway. <laughs> See? Where in the world are we now? Are you kidding me? Did you know this was here? This this is like a whole other hotel. I had no idea. So this is kind of the section you can chase through with um you know, if you play as Sam. Also, there's ass. We want to be courageous. We need these two to be buddy you know buddy. Hey, Zadie, how's it going? Ash. No, I've had so courageous is the proper option here. Any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand. Okay, I'm We need really Chris and Ashley to, to be lovey dovey. Sam's down there all alone with a maniac, <laughs> and we leave. We're basically killing her ourselves. There we go. God damn it! 
So now they're agreeing with each other. This will help us later. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. Exactly, Tom no. Eric's. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. I think when I played this casually, I ended up saving Chris, Matt, and one other character I don't remember. I want to say, I think, Emily. All right, let's see what happens. Go, gotta keep moving. No Asher and your Emily? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yes, correct. That's what you mean. Yeah, when you play as Emily, you're always right. Ashley, thank you. So here's another major decision. You're gonna have two paths. You can either go to the right or the left. You have to go left. This is gonna sound kind of stupid. You're gonna have an option either you follow Chris or you go on your own. You need to follow Chris. One, it's faster as a whole. Two, you'll see when it comes up. See, second, the money 2016 does suck and you have a good taste. Two, by following Chris, you're further building the trust. Oh, crap. And like I mentioned, it is also faster. Blood? How's it going, Takesh? Should be doing good. All right, let me see if I can get this. You'll kind of see that, like, Ashley uh, sees something on the it, right but, side. You oh, don't want to follow that. It's nothing me. for one, and then for you two, through, Ash. I, it's I faster to follow Chris. Uh, oh, come on. And you build trust. Wait, what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Uh, Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we've really got to get moving, like, now. Okay. So you follow Chris. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm coming. Also, spooky. Uh, oh, thank God. I thought this thing was... Boo. Come on. Ever go alone? Exactly. You want to be bestest friends. Wait. Those are Sam's. Also, back Sam's clothes. It's just to my sick. usual colors. I say that's just sick. So the psycho has been down here, for sure. Look, Sam decayed very fast. I hope not. Why is this thing even here? Million dollar question. See, this is why we don't have to save Sam, because if Sam gets captured, it's still okay. Yeah, she really pruned up, didn't she? How the PB time's going? Really good, actually. This would be an amazing PB, but I'm saving the dogs. I'm losing time. But that's okay. Let me do it for the video. Hey, look at Sam. And Booba's back. She's dead. Holy shit, holy shit. She's not. She's not. She's not dead. How do you know? She's still breathing. The hell is wrong? And the towel stayed on the whole time. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. We've got to get her out of here. Oh, oh shit. No, get All right, now they're captured. Damn. Okay, most important decision is now coming up. You see, Ashley and Chris were bad, so they're going into a saw trap. They dead? There might be something. We'll see. Shit. Oh, crap. Ash. By the way, you're about to find out Ash. why I don't like Ashley as a character. Uh, and I'll explain it once we kind of get more in depth. Face off. Capture equals save? <laughs> so the capture doesn't actually matter because you'll always end up in the situation. <laughs> This is the guy who killed Josh. No, not, not. You murdered a piece of shit. You oh, monster. It's kind die, of like man. heavy rain. I don't think I'm ready. I wouldn't say this is a visual no novel. Is it's more like a movie. Tell you. An interactive <laughs> movie, I think, is the way to put it. But you still have to play the game to actually. You, you can get stuck in some spots if you don't move. Like with the mic section, you notice I saved three minutes because I went the right way that time. I knew what I was doing, so I saved a lot of minutes already. Like, three minutes is a lot. <laughs> We've wasted everything. Ashley, none exactly. Of it was wasted. And like, you know, the speedrun does make a big difference because you can save a lot of time if you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, you'll lose like 30 minutes or something. What are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, no. I swear when we get out of this. Okay, no. so they're gonna no. die. No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. I mean, they're gonna live. Hello there, my 
special little subjects. Nope. We're skipping a lot of the sum of the content and a lot of the bonus stuff, like the totems and this stuff like that. We're not skipping as much as you think we are. <laughs> one fatal choice already. But a lot more than you think. Now we must make another. Chris, you can take so... that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. We the want to shoot ourselves. Is yours. Hundred <laughs> percent all the notes, so all the totems, and you save the dog. Telling all eight survive, you don't need to save the dog. But we're saving the dog anyway. Wait, stop. Here's why I don't like Ashley, by the way. Because Ashley says it should be me. But if you pick more. Ashley, you get bad decisions later. Time. Let me choose to save you. Like she's lying through her teeth right if now. I do she's trying to make herself look life, good. Let me do this. She is a lying sack of Chris, shit. Please. Oh. Look at the faking. She's not look like, genuine, she's not genuine. You have gone. Doki Doki Literature Club is a visual novel because you Don't can you quite see? literally just huh? push a button and you play the whole game. In this game, on some points, you have to make a decision. You have to do things. With Doki Doki, you don't technically have to do anything. You can just push X or whatever the auto scroller is. With this game, you have to make decisions. You can get stuck. If I put down the controller, I wouldn't be able to beat the game. That is the difference. With Doki Doki, you can legit put down the controller. The choices you're making is the fastest route for all survivors. It's not the fastest route in general, but for all the survivors, it is. Because for all the survivors, uh, that adds about 14 minutes. Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath. I like how Peter Stormer's <laughs> talking to the killer, by the way. By the way, I just saved another minute. Wow, this is weird. Hey, guys, come on. <laughs> The doctor's gonna be weird, and you'll kind of notice more and more what happens with him. Oh God! Chris, the choice is yours. Nice towels. She got. She didn't have the chance to put on clothes. She will, but right now you get booba. By the way, I have a lot of time saving like this chapter too. I think I went the wrong way with Emily. I know I did. Yeah, if you move wrong, again, there's only sections we're actually moving. If you don't move properly, you will lose time. Uh, if you take too long, if you make mistakes during the QTEs, you'll lose. There's a lot of ways of losing time in this. Like right now, I need to scoot on over to Mike here because you're playing as Sam. So if you don't, you know, push the button that it tells you to push on screen, you won't be able to scoot over there, and you won't be able to move. Like right now, you can see there's a little action there for me to move. I'm just kind of pushing that button constantly so she's moving. If I didn't push that, the game would not continue and she would just be there permanently. This is also why I wanted the machete. Because this way, we're going to be able to free ourselves. As well, we do need to free ourselves, as you can see. These are things you have to do. If you don't do them, the game will not proceed. And that's kind of how you can speed run the game, and there is a big difference. Like, world record for this category is like 403, I think. I'm currently 23 minutes behind it, but also I'm probably going to be saving a lot of the time through this run. Well, a lot of the time, I should say. Not all of it, a lot of it. Because I am saving the dog, so that does lose me some time. But that's okay. Well, reaction time is one thing, but it's also going to be just, again, moving the right way. Like, right now, we're going to have a movement section. If I don't move properly, I lose time. Listen, and that's been kind of adding up throughout the run, too. I already saved five minutes on sure movement and decision. We use save the animals here. We use save the animals. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on around here? Save the animals. There's a door here. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Now I get to play as Sam. You can see once again that she has the world's strongest towel. Why is it only faster to kill the animals in the games? Because it's faster to kill everyone in this game. It's not exclusively animals, it's everybody. That's a fancy towel, it's monogrammed. She's not the smartest. 
Is the movements fixed always the same? I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, do I always go to the store? Yeah. But you do that for almost any game you play. <laughs> for any game, you want to move in a certain pattern. <laughs> Like, if I didn't move to that door, I wouldn't be able to get there. Just like in most games, if you don't platform properly, you lose time. In this game, if you don't walk down that hallway, you will lose time. I know it's simple, but you do, like, that is a thing that does, well, it just game Well, didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? So it does add up. Do you mind, Mike? Oh, uh... And there is a pretty big, uh, leaderboard spread for this game. Like, um... The longest category is like 509, and the world record is like 403. There's a whole hour difference of time of playing well. You can save a lot of time if you play properly. As well, when you play this game casually, this game probably takes more people up to about like probably 12 hours, okay. maybe more. But that could also be because you're, you know, you're looking for more things, oh you don't know God. where to go. And while a lot of the paths will be kind of straightforward, there still will be that difference. Oh. Yeah, most things in this game will be, the, like, like, this isn't on RNG routes. Like, most games don't have that with little nightmares. That's kind of an exception. <laughs> Like, Little Nightmares is not the norm. That is the exception. Also, look, they're both alive. Wait, what happened? No! No, no, no! Get away! Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? You've heard of blanks before. I mean, really? By the way, to my knowledge, that would still kill the character here. He was just joshing you. It's Academy Award winning Rami Malek. He won an Oscar. What a twist! He was just joshing ya. Oh shit! It was just a prank, Chris. So yes, that's why killing Josh earlier was okay. He's actually alive. He got glued back together. See, I told you it'd be fine. Yeah, the actor you're thinking of was uh the crow, um, Brandon Lee. You'll see, Baroness. You'll you'll see. So we end up taking the better ride here for Emily because this is going to put us in a better position for the cave. No. Emily can't die here no matter Shit. what you do. Shit. Oh yeah, he didn't shoot himself with a blank, but he, he didn't get killed by it. Pretty much what Chris tried doing to Josh there. I know about that fog thing. So now we're going to be getting to an issue here. A lot of people will uh, just say that Emily is kind of a survivor. We'll see why. Well, either way, I think aiming a blank at someone is still not a smart idea in many cases if you're not trained for it. I think so, baseball. By the way, you shouldn't be shooting God. blanks at people. Here goes unless you're trained. Bucks. But also, she just used six hundred dollars for a torch. All right. It does, Wolf. It does. All right, let's go. So now we're in the mine. The mine's an easy section to get lost in because you know it's really dark. Uh, there's a lot of paths you can take, uh, and it is just kind of that section. Kind of going back to what I was talking about, where you can save a lot of time based on how you move. So keep that in mind as you proceed. Also, if you don't know where to go, you're going right. So that's kind of how a lot of this goes. There will be that difference. And surprisingly enough, good movement will save you a lot of time. It really does add up. A lot of people don't think it does add up, but it does. Also, I should mention in many cases, horror games are amazing starter speedruns. Uh, the main reason why is because most horror games, you're, I mean, sometimes it will have fancy skips, but a lot of them will just be moved properly throughout the areas. And if you're moving properly, that teaches you the basis of good movement. A lot of people kind of uh, ignore movement in favor of, you know, the fancy stuff. You know, fancy stuff is cool and can save you a lot of time, but the problem is if you're not moving well in general, you're going to lose a lot of time as a result of that. It does add up. So it's just a PS4. And right now we want to get this elevator working. That is the major goal here. 
in order to get that we're gonna be going to this bottom right corner again it's actually a really big map there's a lot to look around here there's a lot to do and if you don't notice it slightly off camera there's gonna be a ladder right here and you're not gonna really realize this until you're closer and closer to it plus you have to go around it and i can't just go up it So these are things to keep in mind. Yeah, there's a lot of that movement will do to people in many games. This isn't also even just horror games. The reason why horror games are good for this is just horror games are predominantly movement. There can be tricks, like especially in the, like, you know, there's games that we play where there's a lot of tricks, like Bioshock, for instance, or Sonic 2 even. But in a game like this, there's really not a lot of, like, tricking. It's mostly just moving properly and knowing what decisions to do and when to make them. Also, quick reaction time because of the QTEs. Also, like Dead Rising has tech in it, but that's another good example of a game that is pretty input heavy and a lot more going on with it. And also, there's a nice variety of games that can exist. So that is the nice thing. But it is pretty wacky when you look at a game like this, and you can see there's like an hour spread of time that you can easily have. By the way, we are now going to ram this. Ram it. Emily is what we call the rammer. Plus, we're now going to be going to this mound of rocks back here. It's weird because you don't even notice anything with it, but when you get closer, you'll notice there's a path and we have to walk down. And like I mentioned, you usually want to take the trad paths, or the Stacy path in this case. And you do have to be ready for these QTs. See? Failing a QTE, by the way. Like, again, if you miss these, you get knocked back down. You have to do it again. Therefore, you're going to be losing time. By the way, these people are really good at jumping. I did say the Stacy path. Well, I mean, she's a chick. She can't quite be the Chad. No, we're saving the dog. People kept asking about it. I'm down. Like, I figure I'm going to be saving a lot of time on my run anyway. That saving the dog will be okay. Well, Emily is always right. This is what we learned. Men can be Stacy's? They can be if they want to be. But I think Emily is pretty happy and, you know, I think she'd be, she'd probably be a Stacy. Hey, Yasha, hope you're doing good today. By the way, Yasha, good news. We'll save the dog today. We're not going to kill the dog. We'll be saving the dog. I know you came into this, like, twice on the dog, like, the dog dying section. So we're saving the dog. Also, realism, a dead battery, because she's been trying to, like, you know, she didn't put her phone in airplane mode. She's been in a mine the whole time. No, I'm not joshing. I'll try my best to save the dog. If I do mess up, I do apologize. Why are we saving the dog? I want to completion this playthrough for a uh, YouTube video. Exactly. It's making it be Chad's so they want to be. Or Stacy's so they want to be. But I'm pretty sure Emily is, um, you know, I think she'd be Stacy. Hey, Persona, hope you're doing good. Knowing Emily here. She'd be a masterful prank. They do! They do! That's why the phone dying makes sense. Stads or Chaseys, like that one. Stads or Chaseys. So, I want to be doing something kind of weird in a moment right now. Uh, you might not expect this. And it might seem a bit counterintuitive, but trust me when I say this is the smarter decision. It also kind of leads to something that's, I guess, a bit of foreshadowing. Nice. And what are you up to today, Yasha? We had a fun time. I look forward to RE8, kind of. Uh, I'm not, too, like, again, I'll play when it comes out, but I'm not, like, I'm not chomping at the bit to play, you know? Is Stacy just Chad stuff? Is she and Emily? Sure, let's go with that. By the way, moving perfectly here is going to save me a lot of time. The last time I did this, um, I ended up getting lost because I was wearing 3D glasses, and it's really, really dark. So, it's easy to get lost down here if you're not knowing where to go. Which is why when you get to this open area, I think we actually get thrown into a cutscene. We want to go back and up. It's easy to get lost here because there's a lot of things to look for. You don't need to look through anything here. But this might look familiar, this actually. Uh, this is where uh, Hannah and Beth fell in the beginning of the game. And you can actually find a lot of clues about Hannah and Beth uh, throughout here. 
Like you can find a grave, you can find a diary, you can find a lot of stuff down here. We're not gonna be doing that though. So I'm just kind of mentioning this for story-wise. If you're trying to play this game and learn a lot of this stuff, look around here. There's a lot of cool things. But we're just gonna be going up here. Just a peck, exactly. Why is everyone crazy over Lady uh, Dimitrescu? People like big titties. I'm not sure much more to tell you than that. People like titties. And now we're back! How bad already zero is? I could have told you that. No, no, we want to go this way. There we go. Can confirm? Exactly. That is why people like RE8. Going this way will bring us back to the elevator. If you go the other way, you actually find a dead body. So you find Beth's dead body. Well, again, a lot of people have different tastes. Keep that in mind. It was just a prank, and... So now that we're back in the power zone, we can go into the elevator. Once we're done the elevator, I'm going to be making a choice that's going to be a bit counterintuitive. Come on, let's go! Normally, you know, when you see a don't move section, you no. think you, you don't want to move, because that will keep you safe. But this upcoming person is actually not going to be a threat to us. So what I want to do is move. And what this does is this starts the chase faster. However, I actually do want to escape him. No, we're saving everyone who we can save. We're saving all the savable people. We're not killing anybody. So this chase is still needed. You know, escape room, what happens? No. I think it just takes longer, like from right there. Uh, you still escape, it just takes longer. It's one of those things like you fail and then you think you need more chances. By the way, you actually do want to throw the torch. But I think what happens is this keeps him on your trail. You want him to follow you. Can everyone die? Of course they can. I've personally never failed this myself, but to my knowledge, what will happen is it just takes longer. So we're actually going to want to turn back, because this ends the chase faster. Oh, God. As well, this guy isn't exactly evil, so it's okay to go back into him. I know he looks evil with a flamethrower and the old demeanor. We're doing 80% after? Ah! Probably. I feel like we'll have enough time for that. And also, I want to get a better time in that. So there we go. Josh. Just Josh and you. Josh! <laughs> we do still need to save Emily, though, but we have a lot oh, better moves good. now for saving Emily. Every one of you, you got my name. Senator Eight Survivors <laughs> Remain? She's not dead. Good, 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 good. I mean, how does that I'm feel? I'm just Josh right? and you. How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? But yes, the big plot twist is that panic? Josh has been plotting all along. All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only so all the ghost stuff, the Josh shut it up because no. he is uh, nope, related to a nope, family nope, of, no. um, you know, special know effects people. This, Josh, but so he's going to be very laughing. skilled being oh, able to do come. that. Come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. It's good to get the heart racing. No, so the gun right? didn't actually have bullets in it. It had blanks. I mean, so by saving Chris, you can see Chris is an honorable man. If you try to kill Ashley, Ashley won't like Chris, and that will lead to Chris dying later. We need them to be, uh, you know, loving each other. Because Ashley's not a nice person. She'll say, no, no, kill me instead. She's lying, she's full of shit. We don't like Ashley. I mean, kind of, but also I don't think Josh is exactly the most sane person. Also, this is why Josh didn't actually die, see? He just put his head in there. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh, Hook, line, and sinker for every yeah, little stinker. Squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. But he's definitely off his meds. Oh come on, you guys! Revenge. By the way, is if you don't know, medicine. this man, John, Oscar. Mike, he's sick. Wait, no. This man, oh, Rami Malek, won an Oscar. All gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Well, yeah, he's dealing with PTSD. Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got... He's traumatized. Love. We got... We got blood. He is the Mr. Robot actor. It's Oscar award-winning actor, Rami Malek. 
tip to count all the views. He is my scene. Like, that's an actual thing. We'll explain it more later. You, no, no, he won the Oscar for Bohemian Just Rhapsody. Dead. <laughs> he didn't win it because of this. What? He won it because of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Jessica is dead. But he isn't an Oscar award winning actor. Pay, ah! Although he did win the Oscar after, you know, like way, way after this. Like, I think like four years or something. Guys, anyway, going guys, back on. to the thing, Seriously, you may remember earlier, we chose crazy, to save Josh. Know? Why did we do that? Chris. Saving Josh oh, makes them bro. friends. So Josh won't haunt you. Where are you guys we skip me? a lot of dialogue between bro. Josh and uh, Chris because now Josh isn't going to make fun of Chris for being a simp. That is actually the amount of time being Fine. saved. I'm not fucking kidding. I didn't do anything. Because we decided to save Josh and said God that, Josh knows wrong. that we're not a simp. We passed his it. test. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. This actually saves you a lot up. of time. You know what, man? You need to shut up. Otherwise, he'll make fun of you for not being able to get with Ashley. Come on, Coach. He's, we're partners. See? Stop. Don't say that. Yep, that is why we chose to save Josh earlier. This um, that immediately ends. Normally, you'd get dialogue there about them, like you know, he's not able to get with Ashley. He'll really like twist the knife for that. So it's actually a really neat decision. And then as well, it doesn't affect the Ashley decision because with Ashley, Josh ends up dying. Any Josh ends up dying anyway. Josh doesn't actually die. So Ashley thinks you did save her, but also Josh knows that you were going to save him. Stop so you get the best of both worlds. Jesus, stop! It was just a prank, soul. Josh. I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear. And this is why it's all really I neat. These decisions do I matter, and they save a lot of time to do them right. Josh, be honest. Isn't that a different gun? It you is a different really gun. I think it's a bit of a, a fluke. Because right now, Mike should have a revolver, not like a, I think, a 1911. Yeah, I'm not sure why he has a 1911, actually. <laughs> a lot of people pointed this out last time. That's the only reason I know this. Not dicking around. Well, Graham, he didn't have that one. He only had a, you know, this one. You're just a bunch of that's a blank gun? I don't think that's supposed to be the blank gun. A guy just to try like this, guys. I think that's supposed to be treated as a real gun at this point. Like, I think it's just kind of a fluke like with the, the um, gun model. Really or they didn't think people would pay that much attention. But I think that's supposed to be the revolver. I know it's not, but I think it's just kind of a, you know, really, graphical issue. Because really, really oh. they treat it like a real gun for the rest of the game. When we know it's a blank, we know oh, that the blanks are kind of in that. So I'm I, thinking they just I, kind of meant I, for that to be the revolver I, and just messed up in editing. Or, you, you know, mean, graphic design. I, I don't have anything to regret. Oh my god. That seems very cold. Well, he did just prank them. Okay, time me up now, okay. Stay still, man. Right, 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 right still. Maybe it was. Okay. Yeah, time up if they're just ammunition. I love Rami Malik, by the way. I'm very happy he won an Oscar. Oh, he's funny. He won an Oscar. What in God's name is he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever seen this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never, never seen him like this. By the way, it's hard to tell at this point. Josh has definitely gone off the deep end. And you'll kind of learn more about Josh going on. With Jess, Mike? You know what happened. In fairness, Josh no. did have his twin no, sisters I, die. I don't. So I understand I his motive for revenge. I'm not approving of it, but I understand it. I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! He could. Seriously? What, what? Did you think I was gonna shoot him? I, Maybe. I don't know. Come on, it's hard to Chris. Say. You know me better than that. Yeah, Chris. You know me better than that. Uh, so yeah, well, that's kind of one of the major. Actually, you'll notice somewhere. it during this run, by the way. I'm probably saving a lot of time because I didn't actually pick the bad options. This game came out in 2015, and it's on the PS4. It's exclusive to that. I don't know if I'll ever get a port. Why don't you go but... back to the lodge. Actually, I may know the could. It needs some of the motion controls. 
lunatic until the morning. Oh, sleepover. <laughs> he is. Order pizza. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. I want to know everything's fine back there. Also, they just... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> they just kind of, uh, leave him here. See you in the morning. PS Move Run win? I don't think I have the actual controller compared to that. Also, the PS Move hurts my eyes. By the way, I saved four minutes by not being... <laughs> by not, you know... We didn't be the nice guy for Ashley, so we saved Josh. four minutes. <laughs> These things really I add up. Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. Jessica's Doesn't fucking remember, Rachel, dead. Doesn't good. Also, correct, Booby. Did you hear me? Booba, Booba is back. Yes. Jessica is dead. So, Booba chapter eight. Back. We yeah. can kill. I think Jess, actually I, just two people. I don't remember killing Jess. There are two people that can die in chapter eight, and these are gonna be some tough ones. Oh god! Oh my god, Matt! If you're not careful, by the way, you can get a lot of people dead. And also, I haven't talked about the flare gun yet. Remember the flare gun? We still have that. It'll come in handy. So now you can understand this guy's fine in that, um... Get back! If you've been no, reading no, things, you'll tell no. a lot more about the game. No. Use me. Here we go. No. Things aren't so bad. But now Emily has potential to die. We have to make sure we don't kill her. As well, we oh, really shit. don't want to mess up on Emily's oh, section. Shit. It's very important we don't make any mistakes. Oh, boy. <sighs> Shit! Also, you learn that the guy with the flamethrower isn't such a bad guy. He gave us flares. And flares are good. This is why it was okay to make a mistake earlier of moving, because we just started to chase faster. And now that guy is our friend. What's gonna happen right now? Why can't we save him, though? He dies at every moment. I will say right now, the stranger does not live. The flamethrower guy, he will not live. He will always be meant to die. I am sorry to tell you this. If I could save him, I would. There is no confirmed way of saving him. He will always die. I'll say that right now. Don't get your hopes about him. He's not going to last long. By the way, we're going to this little crevice. Did Josh get just this run? Okay, this is we're saving everybody. I can save him by pausing the game. Perfect. Okay, now comes the part where Emily can die. You need to pass all the QTs for one, or else you just lose time. Okay. We're gonna go left, because it's gonna be the better path. I don't actually know what going right does. I always pick left here, so I don't actually know if going right would fail. Also, you just wanna go to the elevator. I think it actually would, might, it might actually kill you. Also, a very important thing coming up. When you get to the elevator, you need to pull the lever. You need to pull the lever. It's very important that you pull the lever. If you don't, Emily dies. This is how you kill Emily in the 80% run. Yeah, the stranger is a cool guy. By the way, we're going to be having a don't move section coming up soon. As always, a don't move section, what we're going to be doing is we're not going to be moving. Step out of it, then. So, I put my controller on my table, and I don't want to move at all. No, not a doll movie, don't move. Okay, now we're back. Square. We gotta make sure we still pass the QTs. end up going to the right. I know it's quick. Going left is okay. You can go left, but going right will be faster and safer. Uh, if you if you end up going left or staying on the path, there's a grinder at the end. You can kill Emily that way. I think you're a lot of two mistakes during that.
Right now as well, it comes an important part. Remember, we have the flare gun. The flare gun is going to allow me to get rid of the Wendigo. So we are going to aim right... Did I miss? Oh my god, I whipped it. It's not a rip, I just lose a bit of time. It's okay. We lose time, but it's not the end of the world. It's not an F, I just lose time. So, this has never happened before. I'll tell you, I've never landed the flare gun. I always get Emily bit here. It's a hard shot. Not dead? No. So, I lose time from that, but it's not a game over. If you land it, you save a lot of minutes later. It is a short QT window. Again, these QTs aren't easy to hit. Really? And they're not easy QTs to hit. So, Emily is still alive, and she'll live. Like, she's actually alive. She's confirmed living. The reason why we got the flare gun, though, was because if we shoot her, now? or we shoot the uh, Wendigo, Emily won't get bit. If Emily escapes without getting bit, we don't have to have a confrontation later. I'm still going to have that confrontation now, but it'll be okay. I'm not going to lose that much time. Mainly because I didn't have that shut previously. Oh we get a lot of time by getting that, so hit the flare gun in the future. Am are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. You, okay? you look totally wild. There was something. Where what? Is that? I don't know what you're talking about, Did you guys there? split up? A monster is in Wait. Mom? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so much. I got her fast. bit what? after that. I just had because to get if away. you don't, you know, normally I don't get the fire gun. You sure that? Yeah, I'm sure. The reason why the fire gun is faster is because even though that section ends earlier, we're going to have a section later Wait, where the flare gun or uh, right? the bite's going to lead to a confrontation with all the people. Fucking sack of shit. Wow. <laughs> he left me. He just fucking abandoned me when I was hanging off that goddamn sort of tower fun. about to die. What tower? And then Wait, I, I fell into this terrifying freaking I'm mine shaft and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what so yes, shaft? I do lose time off that, but that's okay. Listen, in, in the tower, there was yeah, she can avoid getting bit if I land in the flare gun head. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be, honestly. You made it. Like, I knew it was coming, I just, I missed the aim, like, barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I, she's all messed we, up. I mean, this. again, we're not going to lose Emily? that much time. Hey, Em? You probably well, only lose a few minutes off that. A few minutes, huh? Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? I always thought that was unavoidable. Which one? The Sorry, bite? Yeah, if you have the flare gun with Emily, you can I avoid getting know. bit. Just check it out. I got your back. This is also why I don't mind saving the dog. See, it's okay. This lodge is like a safe house. This is the main kind of area that they went to. This is where all the people have been staying. Le uh, let me have the pistol, because I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks. And Chris also sucks, or we can give him the gun. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Oh. <laughs> when you put it that way. All right, here. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Funny, you should get your own show. Yeah. You can replay chapters, but again, it's not gonna save me much time. Oh, shit! Hey, Twist, hey, shoot him, freeze! Man. No, you can't. Oh, get, yes, you can. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. There we go. Say what I came to say. So. I'm here. Part of the thing for all survivors is I'm going to be accurate with the guns. I know I already messed up. This At this point, I can choke the run. It's really uh, risky, actually. I don't know why. Um, but we're going to have to land a lot of gunshots. Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Also, this will kind of explain what the hell is the bears. Remember those TOS bears? They weren't bears. They were something else. Your mountain. I'm sure the They were something else. I can't believe I choked the flare gun shot. Sad stuff, chat. Sad stuff. But it don't belong it's okay, to the Washingtons. Though. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. The Alaskan Bull Room? Yeah, let's go with that. Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. But yeah, the game like plot is Wendigos. Now, I'm only gonna I got added. Where did I get added? There's the app. It doesn't matter. I was like, I got added. Why did I get added? At I everyone. I want to get it off my yeah. chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these hmm. mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Hmm. Oh, crap. Yeah. 
I think you learn about the Wendigo. It's a standard. <laughs> Which one, Devastator? The Wendigo? Can I skip the cinematics? No, I can well. somewhere safe. The basement might be no. okay. Okay. Wendigos. That's what I call them. All of you. Wendigos. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Remember when Josh is still outside, by the way? Random effect. Thank you for the host. You see, this runs cool because I can do this. Your friend will already be dead. Yeah. No. No, he can't. It did say until dawn. We were just waiting. Hope you had a good time, random effect. Hope you have a nice day today. Hope you had a good stream. No. Hey, I got my hands free. Look at this. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I don't need your help. Don't move. I need to move. Is suicide. I had gone for a pee. I could have actually. I should have gone for a pee. I could have gone for a pee, and I should have gone for a pee. Until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh. Yeah. I... You tried. So you need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Imagine the donations that you read during GDQ, right? Now is a good time for donations. Win the whole run! I still like this run and it's oddly cozy. Like, it's hard to describe, but it's very... It doesn't this feel like four hours. It really doesn't. Kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. Well, they asked about Matt What's... earlier, remember? Emily said, forget that sack of shit, quote-unquote. I know. Hey. Come back safe. It is slow, bro. By the way, Chris will now live, provided I make it back to the house. Getting the kiss is the indication that Chris will live if you make it back here. If she does not kiss you, you have killed Chris. There's no way to save him at that point forward. So, so tell me, you're the expert you need to get the things. You need to get the, uh, the kiss. What's, uh, what, what's a guy gotta know? And there we go. You just be careful. You follow my lead. Ah, perfect. Booba. That's the perfect donation right so, there. You got it. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Isn't yeah, a kiss should be a death log? Yep. Long. If you did not get kissed, you die. You mean what determines that you get it? the kiss? Like I mentioned earlier, we no, had to make friends with Ashley. So if I pointed but the gun and shot Ashley, it? Ashley would hate us. They if, like you know, they disagree too much, like Ashley would hate us. Um, and it just kind of comes from a variety of decisions. So overall, we made enough decisions where Josh won't make fun of us, but Ashley also won't hate us. Which the primary one was the fact that we ended up uh, wanting to sacrifice ourselves for Ashley. Meaning, once again, Ashley is a lying sack of shit. And that's okay. I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Chris slowly coming at Chad, very slowly. Ashley is worse, girl. Like any animal. Or human. So right now, by the way, we're going to be having a section with the Wendigos. And if you've heard anything about them, um, you also want to read about them so you kind of know how they function. This actually helps out with a lot of the de character deaths that can come up. Um, but we're going to have to get through a shooting section, and we have to land every single shot. If we don't, we die. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? They'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're... By the way, that line of dialogue is incredibly important for the standing still part. If you didn't pay attention to this, or you know, you just don't know they should stand still when around the window go, um, GG. You can kill off a lot of people. Unless you have no other choice. By dying? What do you mean? he's gone. We're too late. By the way, speaking of don't moving. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First. Say goodbye to the stranger. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of his entire yet. body. Piece by piece. Luckily, saving the other characters with the guns is a lot easier. For some reason, the flare gun was just almost instantaneous. Bye, Ryan. I'll be fine. So the launch then. I feel bad for this guy. It's not really fair that we kill him early because it's faster, because this guy will always die, unfortunately. Even if you try to keep him alive, he will die. Wait. OK. 
Okay, now comes the part where hopefully I don't choke. Say goodbye to the stranger. I'm right out in the open. Gotta get out of here. So a single mess up with Chris will leave him dead. Hopefully I don't choke. This room can be used. Getting bits oh, on the end of the shit. world, we can save Emily. So, the strategy is just shoot. Luckily, they give you slow motion for these, so it's not too hard. Uh, as well, you want to make sure you pass QTEs. Once again, you want to land the shots. Missing a single shot, Chris dies. There is a hint coming up, by the way. There is a hint coming up. Uh, you want to shoot the Wendigo. Not this one, I think the next one. So, the answer is, there is like a, a barrel. Um, I think it's worse. Also, here's oh, Ashley, God, she God, saves us. Let me oh, oh my God. Chris, right, you would think so, oh right? God, what happened? So Chris is now alive for most of the game. Chris should be good. And also, Wendigos is kind of the main plot. So not only was Josh having his own thing, there's also the Wendigo. She does not open the door. She'll leave Chris out there and lock the door on him. Oh my god, guys, thank god. These terrible so people. Not so, good up there right now. so here's where I'm gonna lose some time. Chris, where's the flamethrower? Uh, everyone here is kind of uh, stupid, yeah, so when they see the bite, Did they're gonna they think that Emily no, might happened. be leading them to death. Thing, it, this cutscene will always happen, apart. but the Rain issue is, if you're not bit, you skip God. a lot of dialogue and a whole death section. Right. Emily won't doors. die as yeah. long as you make the right decisions. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should Ashley is a bit. She'll try to right get Chris killed and she'll try to get Emily killed. At least we're safe down here. Oh. Luckily, yeah. she you have I'll the choice to like save Emily as Ashley, but you can get Emily killed right morning. now. People will come which for is us bad. In the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right? They're not gonna shoot Emily. Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no. It wasn't Ashley's idea. Car. It was Jessica's Josh. idea, actually. He's got But she was in on it. Josh. One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Yeah. Then yes. Up. I could have saved Emily from getting bit I know, if Mike, I hit the flare. Uh, I didn't realize the flare QTE was it that fast. Uh, down to the mine. So, and what? I didn't realize it was going to be a direct headshot, so I, I kind of whipped it. horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm so gonna yes, get that's kind of the case. Of and what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? So you kind of learn more about the map. By the way, um, what is that? the way you save Emily is you cannot that. shoot her, and then you have to read it's a book. Horrible. You were? And then you have to make the proper decision after crazy. reading said Shit. book. Like cages and weapons and wolves. Yeah, fucking wolves. Also, hopefully I don't mess up any of the QTEs with Mike. Stop. I'm really worried I'm about this. Because I messed it up casually weird, and they're not easy. From the lodge so I'm going to try my best to save the dog. That's how I got back here. At the very least, I won't intentionally I kill the dog. I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. See, like, Ashley's a bitch. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing, oh, it just no, it, oh, no, it bit it, me it and... bit you? What bit you? The, the, the no, Indigo. the dog does not show up in any what? of the future nothing. scenes. All you really get really is an achievement and an understanding okay. that the dog will live if you succeed. It doesn't, it doesn't show up at all, though. Really, it's, you just don't it's see it die. That bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily. I make this dog percent technically, but I'm not going to make that a category. This is just a comprehensive saving everybody category. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said that. Is that how it worked? Yes. Well, Ashley is terrible, like I mentioned. And then you're going to turn on us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! She would have also killed Chris if we didn't make friends. What, Mike? You gotta go. 
Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. That is correct, your own goblin. Emily. We're not gonna kill Can't Ashley. Here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. Also, Cr Chris, what is this? you know. Guys, what are you doing? Chris likes Ashley, so he doesn't agree. Doors right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, also whoa, look, it's Mike, the revolver again, so down. I knew it was meant to be a revolver. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. Don't you don't can shoot her, by the way. Do not shoot her if you end up getting this. I'm really sorry. This is also what you skip if you hit the flare properly. You have a lot of time. Fuck, I can't do this. Well, you don't have to shoot her. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Yeah, it's Maybe. weird. I guess they were just using the blank now. gun on, uh, on Josh for some reason. We're not killing Emily. We stand a queen here. Keep an eye on her. We stand, chat. We stand. Anything weird. You guys know what to do. Yeah. So the thing is, Ashley's no still terrible, and you can still have Emily killed okay. if you're not careful. It's not safe out there. I'll be back. So soon. what? That was like what? Three minutes? So I lost three minutes by not shooting the flare properly. Emily's great. Otherwise, I think you just kind of go to this section. I thought that that he was going to help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't well, no, it's not that Ashley has the gun. It's no, Ashley will convince them that, you know, attacked. she needs to leave. Got to do this on her own. Imagine not I being in it, like right? Him. I didn't even get that one. Wow. So, this is where you end up learning about the Wendigo. Uh, By reading this book, you oh learn no, that if you get no, bit, no, it's okay no, as long no. as you're not it? eating people. Say? So, we're going to reassure. It says that... The bites... Let's see. If it bites you, it's Ashley like can kill mainly Chris anything. and Emily. Ashley can also get herself killed. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? <laughs> You're gonna be fine. But we get the coolest fine. scene. Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was Wait. scared. I'm yeah, Emily will die if you conceal it. I think she ends up getting kicked sorry, out. Emily, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None no, of us know. There's no excuse, there's no excuse Please, Emily. This. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. World star. <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. There it is. Shit. You know what? We meant to show that. That's what we'll go with. We wanted to get Ashley right, slapped. Like, That's what we wanted. Now. We wanted the slap. Also, fun fact, if you've been wondering this whole game, who is doing the, uh... Because of your choices... Who is in therapy? It's Josh. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering... Well, I mean, I had that happen in my PB2, uh, Brain Goo. So we're all good. Passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. So, the person in therapy, the whole game was Josh. Last year, so, fun fact, during I, the part where you get to pick who you like the least, depending on who you picked, the relationship with Josh would go down. And it's really trippy. By your own self I think he's Swedish. Here. It's Peter Stormare. While a reef threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's all well, that's because Ashley's terrible. You. Also, he doesn't even get the hanky. Sad. Your game has gone terribly wrong and your friends like your sisters have deserved doesn't even you. get the hanky you're all alone 
Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? So my time loss is gonna happen most likely in the next chapter. Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? I have nine minutes of leeway, so we'll still technically PB. And this is good oh, for, you know, the marathon commentary. They were your friends. You misled but, them. You lied to them. You know, you put them through a we will be saving the dog. Heart. I'll try to. I'll try to save the dog. I will try so, to save the dog. It's not too late for atonement. And that's your friend. But also, there's other decisions that I'll be doing that will save time, so maybe it evens out. Well, at least Something Sam's not terrible, so I got the, you know, itself. I guess Sam's fine. Hey, I actually saved 33 seconds. Cool. See? Doing great, chat. Oh my god, guys, thank god. What took you so long? Doing good. Up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Well, I mean, it's Josh's... Uh, so the psychiatrist uh, yeah. isn't actually real. It's Josh's I... mental toils on his own, like, psyche. So it's kind of more of a problem with Josh. Also, say goodbye to the stranger again. He's dead. He's just Josh and you. Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? I think there's, the scene wouldn't show up if I didn't get a bit, by the way. Okay, please. Fuck, I there we go, there's another time save. Oh, you did the right thing. I would bring you, I think I would. Him. I'll be back soon. You have a lot of gold. Yeah, we're doing this a lot better this time. So here's the thing. Now we're going to be playing as Mike. And the most important decisions here to save the dog. I'll just say them out loud just in case I fail. I can fail. I mean, I'm, I haven't really done this since I played the game casually. We're also going to lock the door. The only decisions that matter for saving the dog. One, you need to land all the QTEs perfectly. Two... There's going to be a door that we have to barricade at the end of this. We have to barricade said door. Or you don't lock the door? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I think the door actually decides on who can help you for the uh, for this section. It's really not that important. I just lock it because I think it's faster. You mean the zoomer curator? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Also, we do need to get the shotgun now. The shotgun's gonna be just kind of on the upper end of things, just behind one of the locked doors. In order oh to get there, uh, it's not it's behind that first gate, but we can't actually open that. Uh, huh. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be going around. And it is up there. If you didn't notice the staircase, this is actually here. Thank you for the follow. As well, uh, part of the reason why it does take longer is we will have Wolfie and more cutscenes with Wolfie. So you just have a lot more going on with him. Uh, I alternately, if you kick the dog, you get no cutscene with Wolfie. And for the speedrun, traditionally, you want to immediately fail this whole section as soon as you can. You still have to do everything I'm doing right now. But the thing is, um, like I mentioned, Mike can't die until chapter 10. So no matter what you end up failing on, you will save time. If you just instantly lose with Mike. Like I mentioned, we won't. Which is fine. But still. Sooner, for which part? I just need a pitchfork and a mob. The zoomer? Yeah, the guy from, uh... The guy in, like, Little Hope it has the zoomer haircut. He has, like, the shaved sides and like, little, like, on top. It looks like a zoomer, but he also looks like 80. It's weird. Also, gun. Ah, good enough. It's also always the same route. Now that we have the gun, we're just going to be crossing uh, the other way around. Chris can die early. We literally could have killed the Chris last chapter. And the... Yeah, last chapter. And we can kill him this chapter. And he can kill him next chapter. Right. <clears throat> That's a new one, Buckle My Shoe. The only characters who can't die early are Mike and Sam. Everyone else can die early. Infinite ammo double bear. Also, hey, look, there's Wolfie. He's back. Hey, big guy. What, you forgot the gun? You can't pass this without the gun. You can't break down the door. So you need the gun. Hey. Let's hoping I'd run into you again. Oh, you're saying you can't die in Chapter 10. Yeah, you're right. right. 
You can't kill Chris in chapter 10. That is All correct. Right, Actually, I think you can. I think you can. All right. Here's the plan. I have a double check. I think all the kills I him are in chapter 9 and 8. So, but you have a lot. There's a lot of methods of killing Chris. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that will take us right outside the mine. This is the dog that hopefully will be it. saved. Uh, I'm using the word hopefully. I, myself. I really hope we land this. I've never landed it. Uh, I'll be uh, trying my best. I will leave him alive to the best of my capability. So hopefully I don't choke. Hopefully. The other dog will be... You'll see the other dog. Save the dog. I'll try. Hey, I'll say I'll try. I fail it casually. It's not an easy QTs. If dog, I'm not resetting if the dog dies. I'll redo it, but I'm not going to reset it. Red in case I fail. Isn't that bad then? Why do you want red? If I fail, I'm actually out the way from here. Change it. Like you, Wolfie. Stuck on this side. All right. There goes nothing. There we go. I don't know why you want red. Awesome. I'm not redoing the chapter. I didn't redo it for M. I haven't let anyone die yet. So you're jinxing it, Eclipse. See that? I do got moves. I had moves too, but they blinded me. It's a neat one, Habis. It's a very neat one. Okay. The dog dies? Well, tell me the category is called All Eight Survive. I'm trying to make sure I save the dog. Chat, you're kind of making it sound like I'm already going to kill the dog. But this dog does die. See? I told you. Oh, son of a bitch. So. This dog always dies. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? We're going to try saving the dog. But normally the speedrun category wants you to kill the dog as fast as possible. Because this whole section does take a little bit longer. And there's also a few minutes added from, um, actually the dog escort. Because now we get additional cutscenes talking to Wolfie, the dog. And also, it's harder to get Mike killed now. Or Mike failed, I should say. It is nasty. Also, you can see the Wendigo in the background clawing up, uh, if you're, uh, if you're observant. Oh god, I'm lagging, what the fuck? That's fine. Is there no all-including dog? No, because that's just kind of an arbitrary thing. The only category I think that makes sense on is 100%. Which adds like an hour with things. There we go. All right. Hopefully it don't fail. How many survivors the best time drawn? Well, there's all survivors, but you also have a. Uh... There we go. You have all survivors, but you also have any percent. Any percent saves one survivor. All right. I have no idea if that was right, by the way. Wolfie's decision will be a bit weirder, trust me. Wolfie's gonna have a stranger decision. Wolfie's right there.
My hand's in a bad spot. There's a lot of Wendigos, by the way. So the Wendigos are actually the miners. Okay. So the miners uh, were doing cannibalism in the prison. So the important decision for Wolfie to stay alive is the last decision we make. Which you'll see coming up. Come on, you son of a bitch. Where are you? You can only play this on PS4. Or PS5, I suppose, but I don't have a PS5, so I don't know. I'm assuming PS5 would probably be better, but... What? Yeah. Correct. So cannibalism. What? This is shit gonna stop. This is kind of why I mentioned it's stressful to get the dog alive. You can't fail any of these. One at a time, boys. It's enough for me for all ya! Good? Okay. Huh? This is all new to me, by the way. I've never actually done this. Okay. So... <laughs> Casual play there? Not quite. It's more I'm doing something that you don't do in the speedrun because it's much, much slower. If you fail any QTE, Wolfie de Wow, that's close. If you fail a single QTE, Wolfie defends you. And if Wolfie defends you, Wolfie dies. Yeah. Oh, shit. Fine. Not good. Got it. And the barrel. Oh, come on. Thank you. Holy shit. The barrel is important. Kick. Okay, and we shoot. Actually, killing these things is actually pretty bad because you unleash their spirits into the overworld. But, uh, yeah, it's stressful. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Yep. Where's Puppy? He follows us. The, lot, the only decision that will decide Wolfie's life is failing QTE and barricading the final door. Wolfie will be fine. By the way, I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> nice, thank you. Is it bad at killing a Wendigo? Yes, but also for this, no. For saving Wolfie, no, it's needed. In general, yes, it's bad. God. is now alive. We've saved Wolfie. Hey, buddy. There you go. Oh, my Come God. It's all right. Okay, I'll catch you on the flip side, huh? 
Wolfie is alive. So, however much time that just added. However much time that just added. I knew the thing, I know the thing blowed up. I know that we just blew it up. Wolfie did not die in that. Wolfie somehow lives the explosion. Will we see Wolfie again? No. You do, Knife Mine. You do. All right, by the way, Jessica lived. Remember her? She's back in pog form. So that's why you don't, you just instantly lose that section. It's a lot faster. Why is killing a window go bad? You unleash its spirit into the air. It's bad to release your spirit because that passes on the Wendigo curse. Meaning more people can turn into Wendigos. Keeping them caged up means more people can't turn into Wendigos. You're supposed to keep them caged up. Come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find I don't know how much time that on. lost me, but we'll see. Hey. It was Jess? I'm, Jess is I'm the girl in the beginning. Here, she was in like think maybe she's Mike's on girlfriend. On. She's the booba. By the way, you want to reassure him. No, Chris will die if you don't reassure him. You. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to Remember wait. I mentioned there's a lot of chances to kill Chris? <laughs> there's a lot. A lot of chances that Chris can die. <laughs> so. No, you cannot send them to the sun. Because then all they'll do is curse the sun. So I will be saving some time on some upcoming sections, luckily. So that'll be nice. But I did lose a lot of time for saving Wolfie. We have to feed them to keep them alive. It's more that they can't die in fire. To my knowledge, those miners weren't really eating anything. Because they were there since the 50s. Meanwhile, um, yeah. Shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap! There's gotta be another way in. We actually want to go to the sewers. Hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Also, right now, you have one of the chances in the run where you can kill Ashley. This is actually the only chance in the run you can kill Ashley. Ashley is, like, one of the only characters that can't die all that much. Like, I know Mike and, uh, you know, Sam will live until the end, but you can kill them a lot in the ending. Ashley, at this point, like, okay, this she has one chance to die. Place I would want to be right now. And this is it. Who's going first? <laughs> Why they decided to leave in the basement? They need to find Josh. Also, it wasn't that safe anymore. It's not so bad. Also, Think the reason why Chris will die if you leave him behind is because he'll eventually try to catch up go. and he'll go the wrong way. At that point, he'll be lured into a bad area and he'll be murdered by a Wendigo. Want to unleash the Wendigo? Miners. The spirit of cannibalism in the mountains, apparently. Chris, I know you're hurt, but you yeah, I can tell you. It, all right. We're getting that decision really I'm soon. I'm trying, Ash. Mm. <sighs> How are they not the ones that killed <sighs> Hannah? So the Wendigo were trapped in the sanatorium, and they're around the mountains. It's kind of weird. Chris is surrounded by chicks. Hey, um. Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Also, I've no idea what happens if you don't close it. I've never not closed it. It's just faster to do it anyway. Also, I think it might? I don't know if it kills people if you do that. I've never tried. 
Matt's just chilling. You'll see Matt. He'll come back. We still have one more uh, section with Matt in the game. I would assume that too. So right now is Ashley. Since we're lost uh, and we're further behind, we're going to be thrown into a fork. Right? This fork is going to be a major decider. Uh, because you hear something. You hear Jessica. That's not Jessica. Who's there? If you read the book, you know that the Wendigo can Jessica. mimic voices. If you, you follow it, you can get an extra totem, but it overall is slower, so we're actually going to be going on the right path. Hello? By the way, like I mentioned, I am losing a lot of time, so it's okay. I did have to get Wolfie. How did they leave her? They thought she would be walking faster. I am curious how much time saving Wolfie does lose us. But also, I am telutely doing proper decisions so now, as we'll see. Glad you're safe. This is telutely mitigated a little bit by me making better decisions in some parts. I'm losing time. It's okay. We okay. saved Wolfie. Wow. That's right. what people wanted, right? Ladders, toes. We're never gonna make it up there. No, no, no. I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. No, I'm getting embedded is slower. I messed Head up. Back to the lodge. I've got to get Mike. But that's okay. Good luck. Right, Tiny Tarkus? It is delightful. I'm losing time because I saved the dog. Posture check, fine. I will check my posture. By the way, remember Josh? He's back. Dog is worth the time. I have no idea how much we end up losing. Circle? Square. It is a rock wall. It is a rock wall. It's also like a rock wall. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Leap. Oh, yeah, sorry, George. How could we forget George? Well, he's not cut in half anymore. Though. He got stapled back together, remember? So, actually, um, we did see uh, Josh getting dragged by Wendigo. That you. is actually correct. You're very observant on that I one. Can beat you. Award, uh, uh, Oscar award-winning actor Rami Malek did get dragged by a Wendigo. By the way, we actually want to go up the stairs. There's like three paths you can take. This is the fastest. You do. Jesus. Then as well, we actually want to go left as soon as possible. There's not 1.5 Joshes. Ah, perfect. How can we forget the 1.5 Joshes? <laughs> well, not quite. Well, you'll see, Flapjacks. You'll see. You'll see. Huh. And now she has a weapon. Shosh. Ah, can we forget Shosh? What was that ghost Ash you saw earlier? Oh, that was Josh fucking with him. Uh, Josh is was playing a prank, bro. Oh, God. I've never seen fiery... Fiery Wendigo. Oh, God, this is weird. I've never seen that. Thank you. Neat. Whoa. Marcy with the raid. Uh, define all right. E. Alive. Wait, E. Sorry. I think you mean ah. Yeah. That was good. That was a raid boss. Yeah. It was. There's a lot of E's. How are you doing here anyway? I I'm losing up. time because I saved the dog. I promised I everyone I would save the dog this time. Let's find a way down to where this. And I actually lives. did it. The absolute mad lad. All right. So I lost three minutes because I saved the dog, Chad. I hope you're happy with yourselves. I lost f actually four minutes because I saved the dog. How was Dead Aim, by the way? Also, Carsey, so there's the achievement, by the way. I just saved the dog. We saved Wolfie. 
Mike, there's rated no E for everyone. For Welcome, Raiders. I'm Mike Dices. I do a lot of horror games and go like. Right now we're doing, uh, I guess, Sun's commentary gone. for Until Dawn and kind of why most of these choices go. It yes, we lost three minutes, but we did the save mind. the doggy, so I hope you're happy. Hope Dead Aim went well. If you guys know Carson, you should. He's absolutely great people. Also, how is, uh, how is Dead Rising RE4? I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bed. I did save the animals, yes. No damage on heart. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. Let's Pretty find good. a way down to where this Oh, one's dead aim. Also, there's Josh. Oscar Award winning actor, Rami Malik. See, look at him. One hour until dawn. We're near the end. We're doing another run of this, by the way. For anyone who missed the game, we're doing a whole thing later. Although, I'll be killing, it, killing almost everyone. Because it's faster. Otherwise, this is going surprisingly well. What does repentance mean? That means they're being good. Hey, Dead Rising 1's a classic game. Although, if you're doing Dead Rising RE4, then I need to stop by for that. When you're doing it, I saw the ping and I was like, asleep. Just won't listen to me on things. No, we already saved the dog. The dog is all safe now. We're all good. No, I've never played the VR sequel either. I've heard about it. But yeah. But yeah, so we're all having a good day today, everyone. I'm trying to think of more cursed emotes I could add so in, by I'm the way, I'm not sure. Sleeping? Gosh. Hey, I need my sweep. It's important. I sold the record for all survivors. It's There's like 403, but I did lose some time uh, both on a mistake and I ended up... Yeah, 40332 specifically. Spoiled little brat. But I did Let's end up... Uh, what's the word? We're willing to help. I, one, saved the dog when I shouldn't have, and two, I also ended up uh, missing a very important uh, QTE. On accident. Curse is a goodie, though. I like Curse. Ah, Barry Burthen. Wait, so Curse, you're gonna make Wesker trimester? No, you won't be alone. That's long. the question. Deep Not the bees. Enjoy. I like that one. Thank you for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. Yeah, right now we actually get to play as Josh. Why do you give him such idea? Well, people already gave him the idea. I'm just kind of repeating it. Wesker trimester. <laughs> I think Barry Burthen has to be my favorite one, though. Barry Burthen. Chris Pregfield, Barry Burthen, and Wesker Trimester. Get away! It's a funny emo, not gonna lie. I don't think I would want to make an M Preg emo just because I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hop on the trend. But I like the M Preg emo. I think they're funny. By the way, Josh has clearly succumbed to madness at this point because he's dealing with the trauma of his sister's dying one year ago, and you cannot tell at this point. Also, my favorite speedrun strategy is I put the controller on my desk for don't move sections. The don't move sections of this game suck, so very often I will just uh, not move. I don't know, maybe. It might. It might. I trust you. I trust you. Also, Josh is, you You're know, all alone down there. cursed by his dead sisters. No, 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 not again. He is the, well, you know, Mr. Robot. He's the main actor of Mr. Robot. I Am Robot is well, you're with us now. a combination, I think, of uh, the movie I Am, are, I Am Legend and I, Robot. Yeah, Peter is just a figment you of his imagination. Us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. Also... Here's what inspired me not to eat pork anymore. I'm kidding, but can you imagine? I don't eat pork, but... No. Who is Freddie Mercury? Who won an Oscar for that? No. This is similar to what I saw when I wanted to stop eating pork. Oh. 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 Just a giant pig yelling at me. Also, symbolism. If you're wondering why the world is a giant pig, uh, he murdered pigs to get the guts he needed for his uprank. Is this what you want? No! What you, well, kind of. Actually, yes. You why save Ashley. You, you want to save Ashley. Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? Why didn't you save us, uh, Saving Ashley is much why better. Why did you want us to die? Also, you... Yeah, just Ashley. She's the main one. Everyone else you want to kill as soon as you can. 
It is. It's really good. Cool. I like this game a lot. I'm doing another run of this after too. It's hard to believe that. Maybe you can use a bottle of booze instead of heroin. Yeah. Maybe a minor. Maybe make it like uh, the local drunk for the TV instead of a uh, heroin junkie TV. There. That wouldn't even begin to surprise me. It is Hall of Fiends. It is. Or Hall of Fields. I said Fiends. Sorry about that. Hall of Fields. Someone was it is. Sometimes my mind reads I'm all tied up in these fans. I saw some real fucked up shit. Smoking a bong? Oh, they'll be better. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. <laughs> Give the TV, like, a wife beater and have them just, like, looking. <laughs> like, have them just watching TV. So, this is one of the sections that's kind of weird and a little bit... Oh, not that. Get out of there, Ashley. You wasted time. How's it going, Amaran? Hope you're doing good. Fine. One of the things that a lot of people don't tend to notice when they play this game casually is there is a, an alcove on the left. We're playing a Sam right now. It's okay. Sure? Oh, I'm not dead yet. Name's last words. So it's gonna happen. Oh, it's freezing. Can't feel my fingers. We're gonna go to the left. Going to the right's the correct path. I just call her Ashley. Sometimes I mix up names. That's okay. We're playing a Sam. The correct path is on the right side. We want to go to the left, though. By going to the left, we're gonna find something additional. The only hint you have for this is a totem. Or if you, you know, like looking around. Oh, there it is. There's a book here. Shit. This looks like Hannah's writing. So, this is Hannah's diary. Remember Hannah from the beginning of the game? It was just a prank, Han. Sorry, Beth. I have no choice. It's the only way I can survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. There you go. And we're done. A prank, so, Ham. So what? What does that mean? Did she kill her too? Her own sister? But I don't know. How the hell could they even stay alive down here? I don't know, Michael. It there has to neat. be an answer down here. Mike, just... <sighs> calm down. He's saying the tier three for 12 months. Enjoy the emotes, the scissors, and the ugly bastard emote, and the more emotes. 12 months Enigma Pog. Also, I am in a dilemma on my playthrough. Chris and Ash are dating now. But I want to kill Ashley. I am right by the trapdoor. Should I do it, Enigma HMM? I'm gonna say no, Isain. Don't kill Ashley. She can live. Also, how's it going, Glowy? Thank you, Isain, as well, for the tier three for one whole year. Don't kill Ashley. She should live. I think it'll be better. But yeah, so we just found right there. Is it expired? It just renewed, I think, didn't it? Oh, that one. I see. The sub D. Yeah, yeah, it took, it took me a moment. By looking at that journal, though, what we just did is we ensured that Josh lives. That is the only decision for Josh to live. There's no other decision. Jesus. If you didn't grab that note before going to the store, you kill Josh. Also, wouldn't it go? It's trippy, too. I'll say, look, there's the, there's the stranger. He'll always die. He's not people. Oh, oh my God. I like to know. No. We're gonna be sick. Also, what's really cool is anyone who you killed throughout the game, their dead body ends up here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I saw So, that's kind of why I think Josh is one of the weirdest oh ones. You only have one no, chance to save Josh, and it's from a note. Like, you don't have a prompt, you don't have a QTE, you only have that note. If you didn't grab the note before going into this room, GG for Josh, he's dead. You can't tell me what to do! Yeah! You can make you a look in the direction you're choosing, you can see a lot of cool stuff. You can look at butterfly effects, you can actually see the relationship between characters. Like, one of the neat tidbits is earlier in the game, if you pick your least favorite character, Josh's relationship with that character will go down. So if you say you don't like Matt, if you hide Josh's relationship with Matt in a certain point, it goes down. Josh! 
Shock him. Prime gaming for three months. Enjoy the bloody Susan emotes and thank you. Whoa, is that Oscar yeah. Award been, winning man. actor Rami Malek? Full mental jacket. It <laughs> is. And yes, you just have to barricade the door. We actually saved the dog this time around. Was down here. You have to barricade the door for the dog. Weeks, That's the main thing. A month? Don't get hit and barricade the door. She dug us up. Sam. Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Gosh, do you have the key for the cable car? Also, I can't wait. In three days, I get my new chair. The 22nd. Oh, God. So Thursday. Oh. That over there? That means there's a direct way out. I don't want your chair sooner, man. <laughs> yeah, no like way, saving Josh. Wolfie's not easy. You lose like four minutes by doing it. You help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Imagine four minutes of QTEs. Bring Josh back the way we came and we'll all get up the That's watch. a lot of QTEs. Be careful. Yeah, you do. Herman Miller? <sighs> yep. It's gonna be good. I got a Herman Miller. Alright, let's go. You also, we actually get to play as Josh right now. Exactly, Snake wins. Well, for saving uh, yeah, Wolfie, people kept asking me about Wolfie, 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 Wolfie. I, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. I was wrong. Hannah's the reason why there's some Wendigos. There's Wendigos because of the miners, and that's why the spirit of the Wendigo is in the mountain. And then Hannah became a Wendigo because she oh. ate Beth's body, because she got trapped down here. Beth died on impact. Killing spree. The Prime Gaming for three months as well. Enjoy your bloody What's scissors. For the Oscar winning actor Rami Malek. And yes, I agree. We love Rami Malek here. And hope you're having a good day. Enjoy the emotes as well. But yeah, we'll have the Herman Miller in time. And it'll be a good chair, Chad. I'm excited for it. How are you doing, Harry Mason? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, it's funny that you get punched if you grab the scissors. So, like I mentioned, if you didn't read the book, Josh dies. If you read the book, Josh is aware that, you know, Hannah turned into a Wendigo. That is the only difference. Uh, oh! Oh, you're not real! No, you're not! Hello! There it is. Josh is now saved. Oh. 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 No! No! We have now saved Oscar winning actor Rami Malik. Hope you're all happy, chat. No. Remember Matt? Remember when he was in the game? Matt's back. Yep, Hannah is the Wendigo. Who is Matt? Matt's Emily's boyfriend. Why is the Wendigo naked? Ah, maybe she got naked. No! <laughs> I should've... <laughs> Too. Uh, that was my bad. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. Are you okay? Define okay. Normally you want to hit that? Normally you want to hit that one? Jess, what the hell happened to you? How the fuck I don't you think that alive? kills the run. Yeah. If it does, I'm going to have to redo the whole thing. How did you end up down here? Mike and I were... He should be fine, though. We were messing around and... and Emily's great! I like Emily. It was... Also, exactly, what? Carsey. Emily stomps on his cock and balls. It's funny. I was... Hope you're doing good, Trepid. Hope you're doing good. I was all this and It was... In the snow and... Then all that was, choosing to dislike was, Matt does is that... Yeah, it, again, it's minor. It's just a neat little tidbit. That's it. Nothing actually changes. No. <laughs> Well, Jessica did survive. Yeah. Come on, Jess. So, this part's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, molt the save. Matt and Jessica. Both of them can die right now if you're not careful. Both of them. So, what we want to do is Rumi playing as Matt for this section. 
we need to make sure we go the right path, do the right things. Both of them can die very easily if you're not careful. Well, tell me the window wasn't broken until she got pulled through it. But here's what we're going to be doing in this section. Here's the breakdown. Keep it moving. We want to hide. The Wendigo sense movement, and Jess cannot run right now. So we want to go left. We're going to hide. From this point onward, hands off the controller. Don't move. I turn off vibration and just on my desk. This is how you pass this. Now, the worst part is there's going to be a QTE here. If you fail it, Jessica dies. Oh, there you go. This is hurt. That's how you save Jessica. However, she can still die. All right. Let's get off. We gotta do this. Now we need to hide once again. Come on. Oh yeah, that's why I turned off vibration and just put it on my desk. Come on. It's mean. Come on, come on. Jess. Jess. Come on. We're going to hide together. And now, again, we don't move. Hands up. When you turn on the vibration, this works every time. Guaranteed. See? Nice and easy. Where did Jess get her claws? She found it. Yeah, we want everyone to live. And we also saved Wolfie. Alright. Is there a kill everyone category? Um, that's pretty much 90%. We're also gonna jump. Who's the hardest to keep alive? Personally, I think it's Matt or Chris. That's a lot of pings? What do you mean a lot of pings? Oh, that one. On. Yeah, Harry Mason just chills. He, he has to know all the people in chat. Alright. Sans the Climber? Yes, by the way, let's just go right. Wait, no, I went the wrong way! No! I was straight, god damn it. And it's not the end of the world. I got confused by the earlier section who's just gonna write first with Sam. But we are nearing the climax of the game. Also, we're gonna be hitting one of the worst parts of the game. This is a strand type game? No. I don't think it is. How are you doing, Mango Man? Sam's gonna need a bath. She's getting it right now. It's just a lot colder than her, her fancy warm baths. Raimi and Malik get saved. However, we'll talk more about what that entails. We're gonna show off everyone's fate, so you'll see how what happens to everyone. But we did save Josh. We did save him. So far, we've saved Jessica. We've saved Matt. They're all confirmed. And now the other five survivors. And we saved Wolfie. The other five survivors, though, still need to be saved. We're not done with them yet. We did save him. We, we made him alive. He's not dead. He is alive. How does she avoid hypothermia? Because she she's perfect. Sam has zero flaws. She can avoid the cold. Sam is the perfect final girl. She has zero flaws. She won't get naked. She doesn't die of hypothermia. She's hot? Yeah, there you go. So, even though we, do, you know, failing these doesn't really matter, we still want to pass them. And just faster. But now we can actually get every single person except for Ashley killed. Ashley's the only person who won't die if we fuck up. 
Oh my, we're doing good. This is actually a really good finale. Hey! Hey! Oh, come on, open up! Well, it's not that baffling. This game has so many money. Let me in! The Dark Pictures Anthology is double A. This is triple A. It has a whole nother A. When you have Sony money backing oh, your game, it's gonna look a lot terrible. better than an indie game. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. And Supermassive is both simultaneously triple A and double A. There we go. She just broke in, look at that. Man on Dan's a bit rough, Little Hope is pretty fun. Thought he's possessed? No, he's fine. Hey, maybe. I think they did make a prequel of this game called The Impatient. Awful way to go. I could be wrong. Also, Sam is dumb. Not good. What do you think we should do? Well, again, they had money to do so. Might be someone left down there. Get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, so time for the finale. Yeah, cannibalism. If you commit a cannibalism, you become a Wendigo. What's going to happen now is also one of my favorite parts in the game. You thought she's perfect? Yeah, but she's also dumb. The game makes her perfect. What I mean is dumb, though, is you can get everyone killed if you're not careful. You Notice where my hands are. Hmm? Notice. Go, go, go! First off, oh unless she just, she shoves Ashley. <laughs> Follow. Do not lock the door. Run with them. Now, you have a lot of don't moves. This is why this game kind of sucks at the ending. If you move at all, you get someone killed. And if you fuck up, you get a lot of people killed. So you have to be careful. We're going to have to kill the Wendigo here. It's important. Notice where my hands are. Not touching my controller. Don't fucking you're gonna alternate between decisions and you're gonna alternate between don't moving. Throwing the don't moving to don't move. You just do this. It took me like five tries to do this with vibration on, by the way. It sucks. It really sucks. Like turning off vibration, putting it on your table, that's important. It's very important. Now, we're going to be doing some decisions. Nope, this is PS4 and PS5. You're allowed to talk. I mean, I'm allowed to talk. But not. Also, you look at the Wendigos fighting each other. How many Wendigos are there? There's the Miners and also Hannah. Actually, I don't think Hannah's... I think this is all the Miners. I don't think Hannah's at this part. So our first decision's about to come up. So we're gonna have to turn on the lights and blow up the house. That's gonna kill the Wendigo. However, the order of which you do things can be very, very important here. You want everyone alive after all. I like how they just tackle each other, by the way. Also, God. Don't move. Don't move, chat. Don't move me. No moving. See? Very easy. You can do all the moves you want to. Now, we need to save Mike. Mike just made noise. Chris is safe. Chris is alive. To save Mike, get the yell. Hey! Now, guess what we're gonna do again? Emily lives because we just did that, by the way. Emily is now alive. Emily is great. We stand a queen here, Vencho. We stand a queen. Now we hide. Guess what we do again? Ashley has now survived. Oh, same. I died immediately. I ran for the switch. I admit this. Emily is the queen. Just... 
Can you imagine I get I hit by a sudden earthquake in my house? We hide once more. The amount of hiding you have to do sucks. Last one of the game. Mike is now alive. Oh, it's because Sam's the final girl. She can get away with it. She's perfect. She, has, she can survive hypothermia. She can be a marble statue. She's literally perfect. But she didn't win an Oscar like Rami Malek, so she doesn't matter. And on this final don't move section, we have now won the game. GG. If you've gone this far, you can see it until dawn all survivors. Time ends once the screen fades to black. Don't worry, Sam's perfect. She can survive the custom class. Don't worry, she lived bad. Sam's body is immune to concussive blasts. She's okay, she'll live. Because Glowy's powerful, that's why. I'm doing an Everyone Survives run? I've been doing an Everyone Survives run. That was the first thing I did. I wanted to save more time, but we saved Wolfie and I did miss the flare. That's okay, we still did very good for this. You know, two major mistakes, but for the most part this wasn't bad. And you know, a little bit of mistakes in this section, but overall we did pretty good. Let's pick them up. Time ends once we end up fading to black. For which part, Light Souls? Any questions I can help answer, but yeah, that is Until Dawn All Survivors. Uh, the way to confirm it, you'll see all the survivors in the credits. You'll be able to see them. Uh, they'll be nice and good. They'll be nice and safe. By the way, I think I can go back to blue. Uh, the old man, I... Uh... I, I don't know and uh, some of you were asking what happened to Josh. You will see what happens to Josh. Thank Did you, Monocle Unicorn. The group think that? The 420 bits. Well, They're dank. Yeah. We have a dank time. Is it possible they could have killed Are Herman Miller so expensive? They're really good for your back, what? apparently. No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Also, don't depending understand. on the decisions yeah, you made, you'll get different dialogue here, so we'll see. He saved my life. Oh, tomorrow's and 420, you're right, yeah. Up to the dog, though, we saved Wolfie. He lived. I. Well, you don't get to see Wolfie Jessica, again, but he lived. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard. The bits her. are Fran, though. The follow is Clock Tower. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my oh, nose, nice. and he could have shot me. He almost He's shot me. The best prick. boy. I mean, Thank you for the thousand bitties. It's very much appreciated. You you know a thousand him, scissor bitties. You're like his best. We, we stand a Chad and I'm Emily. Right there. And I could have done so some of you are wondering what happened to Josh. To do once the credits are over, you'll see. We can skip them once all these scenes enough. pass. It was just a prank, Em. You end up in the mines. I was carried and um, taken. No, I haven't done it yet. I'm trying to think of what I want to make it. What did you see? Yeah, it's your warranty's good. I don't. I don't know. What's the latest? The old Josh guy can die during that section, like. He can only die in one part of the game. Okay. And but yes, I hope you all enjoyed Until Dawn, All Survivors. Jess. I'm gonna putting this on YouTube, so that's what I'll be. I wanted to make this kind of a larger project. I really wish I hit the flare. It's okay that we didn't. The hell, let's beat anyway. And uh, I kind of, you know, saving Wolfie lost time, but I wanted one run where we saved Wolfie, so it's okay. I don't think this game has other languages as the main issue for at least the this variant. I could if be wrong. You need someone to talk to. I'm fine. Sometimes yeah. If you enjoyed it and you're watching this on YouTube, or hell, if you're watching on Twitch, either, you know, you know, following and subscribing on YouTube is always Where's appreciated. Matt? Following here, subscribe on YouTube. Is he okay? Are they is done appreciated. looking at him? Also, should I find out that Oh Death is going to be copyrighted there? If it is, I'm going to put something I'm silly on it. Friend. Did he tell you that? I, I mean, didn't I probably wasn't good. his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. Well, I don't think the police he are going to find Wolfie. I think Wolfie he just kind of lived knows, in the right? woods. I'm not putting this on Twitter. Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <gasps> Who's Matt? Matt's but Emily's boyfriend. I'm not going to do a cover of O of O Death. Not me. Mike. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Hey, look, they're all romantic. He came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. 
I don't care if you believe me or not. No, not some of the dog ending. You, will. you need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? Oscar award winning actor. Down there. Rami not Malek. Get anything to unsee it. Am I doing another run? We're doing another any percent, but I'm not saving everyone again. I'm gonna do another any percent though. So we're killing everyone and the dog. I saved the dog this time. So he'll stop asking me to save the dog. Everyone dies next time. But here's Rami Malik. He won an Oscar, by the way. He resorted to cannibalism. There's something down here. Have a visual on a survivor. One survivor, repeat. God, saving the dog is stressful, by the way. Stay back! Stay back! No, no, no! Stay back! And there's Rami Malik. So Josh lives. He does survive. Hey, it says all survive, not all live well. No interview with the dog? No, I don't think the police hunted down and tracked a uh, gray wolf. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all enjoyed Until Dawn, All Survivors. I want to revisit this category at some point, but for right now, this will be a suitable commentary VOD. Again, I kind of wish I hit the flare, but it's okay. Uh... Anyway, kind of for us now. I need to 